and I would love to make sure that's muted and we can go to my Google Sheet now. Ba, 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 ba. This, I gotta go update that to, eh, I'll get that later. So hopefully it didn't take that input. It did, no. Darn, my mouse is working, oh no. Um, hmm. Question is, what do I get to P3 next? Might be Rickster, I guess. Oh, I don't remember what this was. I think this was a. Uh, it's like some terrible result for maybe z one kill. It wasn't good. I do remember that. It was a very frustrating match. Okay. Well, we look good to go. Put Chad over there. Oh no, this actually needs to be full screen. It's this one that I make smaller. Right like so. And this, we pull over a little more. That should be good. That should be golden to go. Good, golden, ready to rumble. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We can start off with Trickster though, but man, Trickster feels so ass to play. <laughs> Yes, yes. Bitter Murmur or Bamboozle. Bitter Murmur. <laughs> Honestly, better than... Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe Bamboozle would be on this killer, but... Doesn't seem all too great to me. I kind of want to try the... Uh, the cut through. And the uh, Ricochet add-ons. Where's the ricochet add-on? Mm, where? Bloody boa. Oh, that's fine. We'll figure it out later. Oh, maybe, maybe it's back here. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a brown add-on. Oh, I'm gonna go to the washroom like I do at the start of every stream now, apparently. Oh, one sec. Hello, hope you well. Messing up the sleep schedule I barely have. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I've, I've been doing well. I just got back from the long weekend myself and I went out to visit some family for the weekend, so that was nice. Sorry that your sleep schedule is not going well, gamer. Uh, it's no fun. Not being able to be guaranteed at least your sleep, right? Because that sure would be nice. But... 
Alas. Hmm. <laughs> Seeing family can be nice? Yeah, it was a good time. I was for my sister's engagement party and so went out to congratulate her and everything. So it was a long trip, but it was worth it because you just got to spend it celebrating like her, her life and things like that. Yeah. Ah, oh, trickster. Congrats to her? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I will... In my celebration of her, and of course going to her wedding later this year, I will... Carry that congratulations that you have for her. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It'll be, it'll be, it's quite nice. Uh, that she's been able to get that far make that decision and stuff like that I'm trying to think of like what other because I think Grim Embrace is just better right but could be wrong we'll play it we'll play the trickster anyway it's not exactly an ideal killer for me or in my opinion but eh. just meh he's just okay Recently got a new flavor of, um... They look so sassy? Yeah, they're like K-pop star character. <laughs> a lot of their outfits are very gaudy, too. Um, but I recently got a new... Gamer's Up flavor. It's called Lean. <laughs> and that is a Photoshop picture of Joe Biden on there. Um, but it, the flavor is peach tea lemonade and it is very good it is sweet a little tangy well not not like tangy but it definitely tastes like um you're gonna say good and i was like oh same no i looked at i looked at all of the different flavors on uh the gamer sub stuff and honestly not a fan of the uh like artificial cherry flavor personally so even though i love the milk bag uh couldn't bring myself to buy the flavor, you know? Hmm. I kind of want to play Dark Devotion, but that's also just me wanting to play Dark Devotion every game. <laughs> how, how are you finding good, though? Because I know that my opinion could be misinformed on that. Or well, it's because of the milk bag? Fair enough. <laughs> So what's up, Adonis? How's it going? Talking about uh gamersup flavors and getting into some dead by daylight. You have people bringing double petrified oak, so that'll be interesting. Cause I don't have any uh perks that help me with carrying people. No iron grasp, no agitation. I even have agitation unlocked. Maybe I should play Trapper though. Just get uh, agitation and brutal strength. After I play, after I get shit on in this game. Because Trickster is not great. I will admit. The reason I'm getting Trickster is because of um, Starstruck and. Uh, if a screen schedule is doing a free time, is literally just when I have free time. It's usually in the evenings. Um after classes lately, but it's really about it. I wish I had a schedule, but no, I really can't tell you. I'm just like, I try to be live as often as I can. I just couldn't uh, do it this last weekend because I uh, was away. I was not, not home. Well, the cherry isn't bad at all in my opinion. Oh, fair enough, yeah. Try to see if I can't give you your money or not. Yo, fair enough, fair enough, gamer. I will see you there. Uh, 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 uh. I I will be streaming consistently. Oh, she's just holding W, huh? I've been playing the loops. Just okay. What the fuck is going going on with this person? Hey, there we are. Hello. Thank you for continuing the gift sub that you got from earlier. At tier one, I appreciate it. While we go and murder people. 
But no, I, I definitely want to um, stream as regularly. I can get some hits here. No, I can't. Never mind. As regularly as I can. Oh, she doesn't go for the boss. You're just going to vault that again. Knock her down. She doesn't see that there's a pallet here. So that's pretty good information for us. I saw that the... Yeah. <laughs> I figured as much, but, you know. All right, we look up. All right. Now we can hit you. Oh, I almost had her there. If I wasn't, like, aimed the wrong way on that, I would have been fine. Okay, we got to go for gens now. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted, but... Hope that's okay with you. Mm, okay, we gotta go for a far gen here. Probably one of these back two here. We'll be getting pop now. But yeah, that background player plus... Uh, the background player plus... Uh, are you just gonna go for that? God, this killer is so fucking ass. <laughs> Oh. oh, and she goes out that way, and they're going to complete a gen now. I don't think there's anybody else here. No, there's one other person here. Definitely. Such a funny killer to me. Yeah. Like, in style, or like, what do you mean by, by funny? Because I know that he's just kind of... Uh, his story is just kind of goofy. Ah, sit down. This Nancy's gonna come flying out of nowhere and like blind me to watch. Ready? Off my left here? No, never mind. Kate's still here too. That's good. You hit this. That one's the one with the most progress? That's surprising. I have to break this because of the window. Wanna be Joker, I feel? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Just going on the backside here. Oh, it's Steve. Never mind. I thought that was Kate that was coming back here. The hell? Uh, Kate might be going for the rescue now. Timed it. You're just gonna go for the window again? Oh, nice. Well played. I thought she would goes out and now but she's vaulted through that too many times I'm out of blades too I'm not gonna be able to down her unless I hit every single one of these fuck me oh, alright that was dumb okay well we're against a wall here so that's good uh, and I hear Na Nancy off to my right somewhere so I'm gonna pick this up there's how many knives you got them that don't do damage? Yeah, like, when you hit the knives, it also sounds like you're hitting... There, there's no way that hits, yeah. It also sounds like you're hitting glass. Like, they just kind of shatter without doing anything. You ain't getting that, girl. Good try, though. All right. Get the Nancy. Moonwalk it there. She's over here now. She's just running so, so far away. Yeah, okay. We go back because the um, Yui and the Steve are both back here, to my knowledge. Hello, lover. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome on back. Two streams. Okay, so Kate's there. Yui's here. Back behind this rock. We're going to moonwalk a bit. Back here. No pallet. <laughs> Just gave up. <laughs> Lamau, pick you up. Nancy's like all the way on the other half of the map, so I don't have to worry about that. Get you up here. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> I even realized. Oh, and they're healing back here. Thanks, Barbs. Barbs in Chile. Giving me the information that I need. I don't think they complete this in time. Very nice. Oh. Yeah. Where are you? Get over here. Uh, we'll make it to this. Oh, he's just giving up too. He's not even. He's not even struggling. But yeah, like the knives just sound like oh, they're just, I don't know, like throwing 
stage glass. Like, you know, the, um, the kind of glass that is used specifically for movies and stuff that just breaks. Game having sound effects that makes sense? No way. Oh, you done fucked up, Kate. What? It like <coughs> caught my extremely long nose on that. The fuck? What was that? <laughs> it's like I'm gonna. We got one of those those tractor beams on the. <laughs> okay, it's like the most obvious fucking bait in the world. Also, I, I can't pick this person up because of the uh, Nancy here. Yeah, exactly. Because I know that she has background player, so I can't actually pick that guy up. No, I just have a big nose, you know, German heritage and all that. Just like part of my blood. I can't pick this guy up still, though, because of fucking Nancy with background player. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, there's the window there. Wait, you fucked up, though? Alright, cool. Yeah, but it's literally because of this person that I can't pick up the Steve. <laughs> My schnoz. Yeah, exactly. And Kate's behind me, I can hear up, oh, Diego. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. Okay, she was just on that immediately. I should have just downed immediately for that. Uh, cool. But uh, we do get this when we can see the... Uh, okay, we don't need to worry about her. She's healing the Steve over here. Somewhere. Unless they bite the bullet? I have no idea. I should have just gone for the Kate, though. I was like, oh, I don't want to be mean, you know, and slug for the 4K, but I should have if they're going to be playing like this. And just punish the stupidity. I think they're all in the back now. Yeah. Why, why would you have sound effects that make sense, though? I see you there, Nancy. I think I'm just going to run through here. Oh, wait, yeah, you can't go out that. I'm out. Oh, wait, no, you can. Oh, there's a pallet there. Okay. The Steve. Yeah. I mean, there really is only one Steve in the game. In the entire game. All right. Oh, cool. She actually led me to everyone else. We're going to hit the Kate then. Oh, Steve went that way. Uh, she was trying to leave the pallet. Is there a Dave? I don't think so. Alright, we'll kick this. One out. Oh, I almost had her, but she just held W. Okay. Uh, there's a David. There's not a Dave. That was pretty easy to predict. He's gonna drop it. He doesn't drop it like an insane person. Still around this back corner here. Okay, cool. We do have a main event. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, we run out like just as we're turning the corner. Oh, this killer fucking sucks, man. Yeah, easy enough. There we go. Finally, holy fuck. But I can't pick up again because background player is... I think it's active again? And she can just come flying out of nowhere. Which is a problem. Oh, she was healing. Okay. Can't tell who's breathing that was either. Like, that might have been mine. Alright, cool. Second hook, though. I think. Not death, not yet. Hey, this killer's kinda ass. <laughs> 
I really don't like playing him. And the only reason I'm playing him is because I need, um... Oh, she is just giving up on hook. Got it. I think because they're on, like, the other half of the map here. It's just like... I don't know. You can only do so much. There's Steve. Oh, no, that's Nancy. Never mind. I see you, I see you. There's Steve. I'll go for Steve. I think it's a better choice. Overall. There you are. <laughs> he got stuck, stuck on the geometry. Oh, wait. Went this way. We're building. I see you. Down you go. Uh... I can go for basement, but the question is, what the fuck? That I wasn't even on that. Hello? Can pick up here, maybe? Okay, cool. But yeah, there's a David, there's a Steve, there's a Adam. <laughs> Wait, that didn't interrupt? What the fuck? Alright, well... Let me use my power. Yeah, it's like... Look how fucking bad this killer is, man. Uh, like, as is... As a overall power, you know? It's like, look at this! I'm fucking missing from two meters! <laughs> She's a tank, yeah. Well, I'm also, like, the character has this weird, like, recoil problem where his his blades will just... They have a spread to them. Like, they have a bloom. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, I am a killer that can deal with... with the, um... endurance effect, but good god, man. Anyway. <laughs> It's, it's like, so infuriating playing them. Because you try to hit somebody, and then the spread of the blades is, like... It's so bad, man. Uh, that game was not, was not fun for anyone involved. My blades back. Oof. But, you know what? The Nancy played well. Oh, cool. I had a daily ritual for Trickster anyway. <laughs> Golly day. But again, like, just I'm just playing this killer for their P3 perks, and I will not be playing them afterwards. In fact, I might not even play them for the rest of the day today. I'm sorry to say. I'm just complaining all the G-dang time. Try complaining less. Uh, try playing better as well. Just, you know, all these things that could be... Could be done better. Um, but I gotta spend my blood points on them. Or do I? No, I do. <laughs> uh. Yikes. Oh, they're the purple blades. What was your favorite to play? Death Slinger. The cowboy with the grappling gun. Definitely my favorite. Just just a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna put some points into Trapper. I would rather play Trapper than I would rather play uh, Trickster. Like, that's the, the state of affairs is that I would rather play Trapper. <laughs> I probably could have taken Trapper Bag. Cause of Brownie Guy? Yeah, exactly. Although I've taken that skin off now. It's too distracting for me. Coffee grounds. Hmm, we could take Pwiff with this guy. Would it be bad? Hmm, ooh, Starstruck. We do have Agitation just like built in for this character, so we could do a Starstruck build, and that'd be really funny. That'd be really funny. Trapper Sack? That's pretty good, too. <laughs> we only have it on tier one for each? Good lord. Ugh. Okay. 
In that case... Uh... Do the coffee grounds and then grab the best perks for this character. Which will be... Uh, actually, let's do... It's gonna be Corrupt. And... Pain Res. And Noed. If we even have Noed, I don't know if we've unlocked it yet. Hmm. <laughs> Hysteria would be kind of funny, right? It'd be so bad, though. Maybe we just go Grim Embrace and say, like, oh, we're gonna be boring today. Could be Discordance, too? We'll do Grim Embrace. Grim Embrace, Gearhead, Scourge Hook, Corrupt Intervention, Pain Riz, and all that. Ooh. So I think that's the default weapon. Let me have this. Cool. That'll work. That will work. Uh, let's do a different challenge, though. Because I'm not playing Haunted Ground on this character. Hey, no way. Oh, also, I think the since I last played, the current tome has the next level unlocked. Woo! Could also... Oh, no, I don't have Bamboozle. Never mind. All right, let's get moving. Get back on the Steve. I think it's also because all of the uh, characters have the titles, like the spirit, the clown, the cannibal, the huntress. And so it just feels appropriate to refer to the survivors in the same way, maybe, who knows. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, uh, that was Azerov's resting place. No, zero. Gents remaining, three, twelve, four, four. And then we'll go over to Trapper. Hopefully we'll do okay. I have not high hopes, but... <clears throat> We'll see how it do. I should ideally also have um, more points into Sloppy Butcher, but with the nerf coming in next patch as well, it doesn't seem great. I think Grim Embrace and Pain Res are going to be better. And Corrupt Intervention gives me more time to set up. Setup time, pretty essential for this killer, really. <laughs> Hitting a healthy survivor grants them a short burst of speed. No way. That's how they're going away. The spikes going through his skin make me uncomfy. Yeah. Sorry about that. A little bit, a little bit of body horror there. The new killer from today, though, that's like currently be, being played in the uh, public test build, is that's now that's some body horror. That is, there's a whole bunch of shit going on there. Everyone's, like, hypothesis. Face being slated to... Yeah, 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 Yep, or slanted, is that what you meant? Like, with the... <clears throat> with the mask? Or are you talking about the new... The new killer? Because the new killer is also... Not to where I'm gonna... Not watch... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It is, uh, it is quite creepy. The mask. Got it. Okay. The new, the new killer is a lot of, a lot of body horror. And people are guessing that it's like an extension of the entity, like another puppet of the entity, like the dredge. Haven't seen new one. I can show you the PNG of him after this match. Raccoon City Police Department East Wing. This is going to be so incredibly dog ass. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be awful. Oh, we should put this here, actually. I know none of these characters. You know, fair enough. Uh, I am playing what many, many people consider to be the worst killer in the game. So, if that doesn't tell you anything, then... Ooh, who in here? Let's just see. Because that could do something. Uh, I set down bear traps. That is... The entire character is, I set down bear trap. I'm just trapping off the back side of this map. And uh, if a survivor walks into it, <clears throat> they become immobilized or jumps into it or whatever. Like if they just basically cross its path, right? Uh, they become immobilized. And then if they escape from the trap, because they can, they have the chance to escape from it. Yeah, okay. Up there. Good to know. So we gotta look for those upstairs, gents. If they escape from the trap, they get a damage state, and if I M1 them while they're stuck in a trap, then they, uh... Well, then I down them immediately instead. Someone up here. Oh, this generator's gonna be a problem, huh? I set a trap here on these stairs, then. I have no idea where these people are. Maybe they're following me. <laughs> Who knows? There's someone who blew up this gen out here, too, though. So we'll go check this out. Hello, I see you. Someone else on this still. Hello, Jacob. And that's... A down, I guess? Okay. Weird. But I'll take it, I guess? That was... His hand or arm looks like crisping lasagna. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I know what you mean, though. That was that was the one with the most progress? Really? Okay. Well. Guess that's fine. But the reason why he is considered one of the worst killers is because of the problem that I've run into now. Where I have literally no power now. <laughs> Why is that floating? What? And, and, at maximum, I can only have two traps in my pockets. So it's like, fuck's the point? <laughs> oh, man. And then you're like, oh, yeah, if you want to have all of your traps. Hello, Claudette. What on earth? Dude, she really didn't believe that I was right next to her, I guess, huh? Um. But the problem is that. <laughs> There's an add-on that gives you more traps, right? And that add-on is like the reason why they justify not giving him more traps to, to handle, right? <laughs> it's really silly. But then it's like you take so much time to set up in the game that you just never really have any time to set traps down. And then of course survivors can counter your traps by, get this, disarming them. <laughs> like you can legit just walk around and disarm traps. This is regressing. So there was someone here, but not before they went to save the clawed debt. I feel like they're back on it. But I have no idea where they went. Well... They saved the Claudette, we just gotta leave. That gen's being worked on too. Which one? Oh, the one outside? Okay, I don't care about that one anymore. Hello. Were you trying to heal my Claudette? A little bit of life gaming? They do camp that, okay. 
Yeah, I'll crack it. Just Scooby Doo and unmask him? Yeah, and the funny thing about him, too, um, about specifically the, uh, what are you two doing here, you nerds? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can bait someone in and trying to get the pallet save here. Nope. Nope. It's gonna put you back up on this hook, actually. And put a trap down here. But yeah, the, the trapper, as a killer, is just a guy. <laughs> like, he just has an estate that he, uh... <laughs> I set that up way in advance. I'm happy about that. Come here, you. Yoink. Such a manly scream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. That hook's, like, way over there. Okay, we'll just put you back on this, I think, then. Um... But he's just, like, a guy who had an estate and was kind of, like, uh, curmudgeon. Like, he just didn't like people <laughs> in general. And, uh, he's like, oh, well, I just have, like, pleasure for hunting people on my abandoned estate. And that was kind of his whole, his whole thing. And the entity's like, damn, this guy's, this guy's great. Let's pull him in. And then now you have him up against, uh, like, the dredge, right? Who's a killer who is the manifestation of evil thoughts and uh, feelings and stuff like that, right? <laughs> Hello, Jacob. Let's hit you. He's gonna go down the hole. Yeah, but I'd knock him too. Face the wall. Uh, oh, there's a hook right here. Very nice. I already put you on a scourge hook, but I think you're dead? No, you're not. Okay. So that trap here, in case someone goes down that hole again. But yeah, it, oh, yeah, and you can do this too. You can run into your own traps, which is great. That was one that I, I know that I set up. Because I was like, I'm gonna be super smart and I'm gonna set it up on this generator where, uh, oh. Hell yeah. We got, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. Here. Hello. You can't. Oh right, Lythe, Lamau. Lamau, Lythe. Dwight's here too. Bonk. Up you go. Oh, went upstairs. Is he gonna vault this? Directly into the trap. Well, yoink. I'm gonna put you in the basement. Oh wait, basement's not here. Lamau, XD. Yep. Yep. Good try. Very good try, but not uh, not very narrow. Silly that he sabotages himself. I agree. I, I agree that it's pretty, pretty damn silly. And it's just like a killer that makes him his his own power uses or uses his own power against him, right? He's in here. This is not a safe pallet, girly. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can just get this M1 for free. Is great because you went down the wrong side. I think that's the claw debt that's been behind me. It's like undoing all my traps back there, but who cares? There's someone on that gen above me, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, sets up for way too long and then ends up setting them up all, or setting them off all by himself. Like, come on, man. Are you for cereal right now? I don't have any traps over here either, which sucks. Oh, he went this way. Set that there, and then I can just do this. Uh, 
Wait, he, he was able to walk past that? Yep, okay, cool. Hitboxes are a fucking lie, I guess. He's over there. Oh, we'll just go for the claw net. We'll swap targets. He's smart? Yeah. I should have broken that pallet a long ass time ago, too, but I'm just like, oh, I have no time to do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. All right, cool. Get that. And I think we just, the only person we haven't hooked is the Dwight. Oh, that's actually not good. She might get out of my arms here. Hold on. So I don't have Agi. Up you go. Mmm, yeah. I beefed it though. Yeah, GG is to Dwight though. You played it well. Did what you need to do against this killer, which is just get the traps. Uh if he gets hatch. Never mind. Good luck. Uh, we should go trap this exit gate because we're closer to it. But I, I've got a feeling that he's been—he's closer to that one. <laughs> and now we do the other boring thing that you do with this killer, which is trap the exit gates. And now they can't go up to unlock them without untrapping them. But he could potentially be on this one, too. Entirely possible. Oh, he's not. Okay. And now we just kind of patrol back and forth. Wait for him to untrap stuff. I don't have no end. So I can't insta down him if I if I do hit him here, right? I don't think you have life either. I should again I should have broken that pallet a long ass time ago, but this one's broken. The one at the top of the stairs is broken. Yeah, good try. The 103 FOV got me. But I'm going to be sending you up to the spider eldritch horror here. And that'll be the end of it. Uh, I actually don't know where my hook is because it's back here. Yeah, he doesn't get out though. He does. If he gets the 4%, I'll respect it, but he ain't got it. G, G. Oh, wait, no, I don't think he even lets you do 4% when there's only one person left, right? I have no idea. Uh, 2, 12, 4, 4. <laughs> I mean, we've been successful with the Trapper so far. It's just, uh... Again, after we've done like Plague and Artist and Death Slinger and all of that, and now it's like I have I have games with Trapper to play. <laughs> oh man. But those people did seem kind of inexperienced. The the Claudette was just taking everything. Did the Kate seem good though? I think that the Claudette just wasn't quite so quite so ready. Not quite as uh, good. Alright. But we do have quite a bit of blood points to spend. So maybe we can get some perks. Yes. No, we're still getting a lot of nothing. And that's whatever, but. Um. <laughs> Definitely taking Trapper Bag. And... Uh, it's like mangled on Trap Survivors. It's not bad either. Take the blueprint. So we know where a hatch spawns every time. Max break. No, we don't want that. Yeah, on, on even larger maps, this killer just suffers because you like, I have to go walk across the entire map to then place a trap down. 
to pick things up. That slugging would be a really funny idea with this character, though. If I was put in the dying state by your basic attacks, crawl slower, and the recovery speed is reduced. Survivors are affected by the blindness status effect. Hmm. I see. <laughs> it's not ideal, but you know. Man. Take that too, I guess. Oh, two blood points. Two entire blood points. Hit survivors with your weapon while that survivor is exposed. Could I... Could I do a Death Slinger game with that? That'd be really fun. Let's do some Death Slinger. So I stop complaining so much. Good lord. This gamer complains too much. I will right, we'll do iridescent coin and keys. And I have I don't spend points on the slinger because I'm trying to get points on all the other killers. But uh Yeah, those will work. This iridescent coin is an add-on that if I snipe somebody from Oh, the new one, thank you. I forgot. Let's look at them for just a second here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ba, 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 ba. I will. I believe that the fan wiki is going to have it available. Yep. Uh, is there a better like full body image though? Mm, not not quite so happy about that. <clears throat> I want to I want to show off the the entire body. Eh. Oh, there we go. There he is. So, this... Oh, it's such a low-res image, though. Oh, whatever. It's fine. His less word do trick? No, I understand completely. <laughs> Why use many word when fewer word do trick? The uh, window is... That one. Okay. So, this the lore of this character is that they're basically like uh, found footage, amalgamated horror, you know? So, here you go. He's an ugly bastard, I'm warning you right now. But, oh, why is that not showing? Properties. Okay, oh, because it's behind. I think it's because it's behind. What? Why is that not showing at all? Hello? Yeah, no, real scary killer we have here. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Sometimes OBS messes up on things that I've put into group. Into folders and stuff, and so... <clears throat> Alright, create new uh, web, web browser. Okay. Not that. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's a browser source, Lamau. It's not the one I want. I want a window capture. Web browser. Okay. There he is. Boom. Then we can drag you down below that. And further down. Can I go further down, video game? There we go. Yeah. That's what he looks like. He's just like an amalgamated horror. So he has like one knee that faces forward, one knee that faces backwards, and kind of crawls like a crab during their mori and stuff. Like all of the all of the limbs and stuff are just bent wildly out of proportion. Some of the straight out of nightmares, and that's that is the idea of the character. And that he is just like a a local legend. You know, oh they saw something in the woods. Yeah. Yep. No, oh, that's him. That's the, that's the new killer. Or a freak. Oops, don't want that. Can't look for too long? Yeah, uh, I'll move it off the screen. <laughs> also, I just noticed that my... 
Hold on. There we go. There's chat. Just realized that that was hidden all this time. But yeah, he... Like, the more you look at it, and we're like, ugh. Um... And yeah, like the spines all matter. It's 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 quite it is quite the creature. Just play this. We'll play a good Deathslinger build. Hmm. Figure a way out from there. Today I am crunchy marshmallows because of a conversation I was having earlier of like things with cursed texture. It's like stale marshmallows are pretty cursed. And then it's like, oh yeah, crunchy marshmallows. I was like, hmm, hmm, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I get you, I get you. At a certain point, you're like, perhaps this isn't good. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, um, they have like a multifaceted power. Uh, like they have two powers in one basically where they launch a they fire like this little kind of noob tube grenade launcher oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. very very grotesque in, in the way that it was bent like that alright we gotta go for trick shots we gotta go for the long range shots cause we need to expose and down survivors like that so hopefully this doesn't go too poorly. We'll see. Do spins? <laughs> I can do spins. Yeah. We fire and like throw the mouse across the mouse pad. That'll work. Because even after I spin my character fully... Ooh, Grim Pantry. Mm. I think I can make this work. The thing that I don't particularly... So, like, Grim Pantry is fine. The thing that I don't particularly like about it, though, is that um, the hook spawns are fucking horrendous. And I missed. All right, hello, Michaela. I see you. Is running... Oh, she's running back that way. Okay. Did you just go into the corner here? Where did I lose you? Oh, you're just still running. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I definitely had a free Shaw on her there, though. Someone's opening a chest up here. Alright, I lost the Michaela. Oh, good up, gamer! Who's opening this chest? Oh, it's already open. These people are just... Oh, there you are. Drop down anyway. No lethal... Or uh, no balance landing. Ah, bummer. It's a damn shame. He just keeps running. And went out the window. Still playing it. Damn. Okay. We're missing our shots already. Off to a bad start. Uh, let's just go back to this. She had a map. Sideswipe everything on your desk. Yeah. That's why I have a really big mouse pad. Uh, more room for gamer activities. Progress being made on this. You. Hello, Meg. How's it going? How you doing? You know, I would like to give you a little smack on the back real quick. Oh, bolted the window. Uh, oh, nice. Well played. I could actually M1 her through there, which is really funny. You're just looking behind her constantly, though. Goes out the window again. There we go. Get over here. Get uppercut. Oh. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> In between a locker and a window, so... Trying to put her in there is going to be pretty damned difficult. Up you go. Whoop. Bonk. 
That's one. There was someone still here. Is this Jen's regressing now? Or, um... Oh, we see the scratch marks anyway. Is running out here. Ran back inside main, and then is going for the unhook. Okay. Oh, oh, she's right fucking next to me. Okay. <laughs> you got this guy. I got it, I got it. I believe, I believe. Are you going back upstairs? I guess so. Uh, jump the window. She's going back up. Mm. Damn. Messed up. <clears throat> that's fine. I want to take. I want to try and take some shots on a spot that's like not enclosed like this. Uh, window knee is there. And I'm gonna go for this person if I can. Oh yeah, there she is. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, a lot of progress being made on this. Get over here. Another mag. I see that one too in the grass? No. Never mind. Hmm. She didn't go that way. Eh, not quite. Gotcha! <laughs> Little switcheroo there. Ah, oh, boil over on G-Dang Pantry, huh? Thank goodness we're right next to a scourge hook here, actually. That was really good. There's someone... There's a, The other Meg is here. I heard that. Or maybe that was just like a duplicated voice line I heard. At any rate, this this gen's being worked on by the uh, Nia. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna crack this too because it's just getting in my way. Good news is that we do have no way out, so we do have like some very late game stall if we need it. And unhook's gonna come through in three, two, one. Oh, timing's off. Oh hey, that's fun. Gotcha. Leave the shot. Get the down. <laughs> A little bit of eerie coin on that one. And I see the Nia up there because of the crow that went off. So someone's still back up on that gen. And also, we got that Meg up there up to second stage, and then we can go cut him off now. I, I saw that person to my left. Didn't get the effect for necessary for the um, save. That was just mean. I'm sorry, Miss Heidi89. I, uh... Ooh, I actually almost hit her with that. She almost ran back into it. That was super close. Uh... This generator might get completed by the Michaela who's up here, but let's go interrupt it just in case. Wow, they didn't complete it. I'm actually super lucky that they didn't complete that. Oh, Michaela's over on the other one. Let's see, this person's down below me. He's in a locker. Oh, that's super funny. <laughs> That's super funny and also super unfortunate that she went into a locker to hide from me and didn't realize that her men timer was up. <laughs> yeah, yell at you about... I had something to yell at you, but you're off the hook this time. Oh, no. What were you going to yell at me about? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, no. I did something. But hey, Viz, how you doing? Was it that I didn't self-promote? I didn't share my link somewhere? I know that I have a bad tendency to not, uh, not do that. Hello, hello. I mean, I said I forgot. Yeah, you know, fair enough. I was trying to jog your memory, but then why would I try to jog your... Oh, wait, there's someone here. Why would I try to jog your memory to get myself in trouble, you know? really don't like being out this far from that gen, but... 
They're going back up to main because the Nia knows that this generator's here. And I think the uh, Michaela who saved her is going with her. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. We, we've we regressed this generator a ton, though. Hey, Nia, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, D-Strike. Very nice. Well played. Well played, well played. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Jumps up. And back you go. Woo! A little bit mean. I should be going for longer shots. Where's the Cosmic Brownie gun? Uh, I decided to do away with it just for the sake of trying a different look, really. <laughs> That's all it came down to. Up you go, and up to two now. We saw Michaela as well for a second there. Yeah, I was I was getting distracted by it. Not in a hungry way, I was just like, hmm, I don't know if I want to use it anymore. Where are these people anyway? Uh, Meg's out there. Michaela, I think, is underneath me somewhere? So this generator got done out here. Where? Oh, and she gives up. Okay. Awesome. Pockers. That's the worst one I've done yet. Mmm. <laughs> word soup. They become soup. Soupy words. Right, do they go back up for this generator again? No, it's fully regressed. That used to be 99, by the way. Yoink! <laughs> Sorry, I have an archive. Hope you don't mind. I have an archive to get um, exposed hits. Whoop. I was getting distracted by it in a hungry way. You know what? Fair enough. I think the team was like, well, after the other Meg gave up and after the uh, Nia died. Oh, she's in main. And get the shot on you. Man, that, that hitbox is so whack. Got her, though. My brain must be turning into word mush. Yeah, exactly. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I was just like, I think it's time for a change. You know how it is. Like that. Someone's still on main as well, but... Michaela, Where are you? I think that... Meg was at the... furthest extent of my range to... I'm just gonna close this, like, I don't really give a damn. Sorry. Uh, we have no way out. Oh. Is it... Oh, no, I think that's me actually setting those birds off. Never mind. I was like, oh, she's in main. I'm in main. Me. <laughs> uh, might be in that corner? I'm not sure. Okay, she's on that one. Good to know. My... Oh, no, my intelligence is showing. Help me. My IQ is room temperature in Celsius. Back into main. Or no. I'm just back into... Hello! Ooh. You know what? Alright, well. Ugh, it's gonna waste too much time trying to get this person, like... Onto to get the door and then open the door and then leave but yeah GG's I think that's that's enough time spent I had to do that archive and I got it I mean the Michaela kind of gave two shots to me for free so kind of a mean build honestly but that's okay shoulder up I also don't like how the FOV changes with this killer. It's very strange. But, uh, that's like the only complaint I really have about Mr. Quinn. Q. 
few challenges. Carry survivors over a hundred meters. Wowza. That's a lot of meters. Paw, we have hex crowd control. He takes some big steps. Yeah, he's striding. He's a tall, tall boy. Alright, trapper time. I'm gonna get more more trapper things. Sorry, I was falling asleep just thinking about trapper. What a what a boring <laughs> killer. <laughs> oh man. I think that there's there are a lot of interesting killers and the trapper is just not one of them. Mm, lasagna boy. Yeah, him with his lasagna arms. <laughs> it's really funny that you point out the lasagna stuff. I had noticed that before. Um, ooh, agitation too. That'll help. A little moldy oak. Moldy oak. Ooh, agitation three. Cooking something here. What if I, hmm, if I have Starstruck at three on this killer? Let's see. So we'll do, uh, star, Starstruck three, agitation, uh, pain res, and I think, I think like you just need corrupt intervention with this killer every time. Like, you always, you always need Corrupt Intervention on Trapper, right? It doesn't matter what the other perks are, you just kind of need to run them. Because he's so... <laughs> he's so, uh, reliant on setup. Do Trapper Bag and... Rusted Jaws? Or Secondary Coil? We'll do, we'll do Rusted Jaws with this offering to give ourselves more blood points overall. We keep working our way up. <laughs> Lasagna boy is such a funny thing. It's fine, he'll step into his own traps. You're right. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> I love that you don't have like a, a ton of knowledge on uh, Dead by Daylight, but the one thing that y one thing that you do know is that the trapper can step in his own traps because it's just like this killer has everything going against him. My gosh. <laughs> well, so really, really like how I look today. My skin is super nice and clear and everything. Who knew? Actually, taking care of yourself makes you look good. Kind of surprising. Uh, close those pages down. He's his own worst enemy. I mean, yeah, that is the his design. The design that he was uh, centered around was, yeah. It was like the thing about Trapper is that the Trapper was designed for a game that was created eight years ago <laughs> or seven years ago. And it's been seven years, <laughs> and he's still effectively the same exact killer that he was before. Okay, let's see if, if we can do, like, Starstruck Agi stuff this game. Have some fun with it. Carry survivors over 100 meters. I mean, it's good because we have Agi. <laughs> Agitation, Iron Grasp, Starstruck, Hex Noed. Issue having with the mask is the teeth. Ah, yeah, I see what you mean. Here, we'll put on we'll put on the Canada mask. There you go. It still it has teeth, but it's not against his eye. It's just like a fang mask now. Also, my predictions for the <laughs> SI twenty twenty four were very wrong. So far in groups. Hell yeah, now he baits the traps. Exactly. Exactly what he do. So, 
for the six invitational, I guessed uh that Fear X, uh Dom Juan Kia, Bleed, and Fury would get eliminated in their groups. But the teams that were actually eliminated were GK, who was a stellar uh team from Mina that dominated the Atlanta major to everyone's surprise. Um D plus did get eliminated, that was expected. But M80, like one of the best teams locally in the North American League, got eliminated. And then Scars, which also has not been doing terrible overall, as far as like Apex APAC teams goes. So they're a Japanese Japanese squad and got eliminated instead of uh, Fury. And Fury actually took a map off of uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. Which like Nip has not been doing particularly well, right? Hello. You're all here? Why? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Shell's going. Put that down. We're on the back side here. Just goes back for the uh, shack. Eh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. I'm going to trap this then. Make it harder to play around this, and he just leaves the loop. You don't have anything... Oh, you do have a trap. Or you do have a pallet there. Wow. A lot of pallets. I didn't expect. Uh, you have windows. You you absolutely 110% have windows. <laughs> like, loop this pallet into this pallet into that pallet. Alright, we'll pick this up. We'll uh, go ahead and kick this pallet here. Pick this up. Kick it. And work my way back towards the lodge here. I see the cape way, way over there. So maybe we'll be able to do something here. Oh, that gen's going to get completed right in front of me. Going to hit there. Oh, nice. Uh, we gotta go. Oh, nice. We, we had him lose 20% progress on that. Yep. Yeah. Kick this. I'm allowed to set up in this area, but they're really trying to break this 3 gen. Which, for me, not gonna be possible. I'm not gonna pick up either. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm gonna put it. Gonna hit there, and then we pick up. And then we can go and drop this, because we kicked that, so it has the regression on it. And you are exposed, so you should not be going for that. <laughs> Starstruck value, baby. Got a lot of work done there in a very short amount of time. Uh, I can't pick up any more traps. Whoops. You people need to stop working on this generator. <laughs> and also you took a conspicuous action, so I can just go for this. Which is great. And then you're probably going to go touch that gen again, aren't you? Yeah, I'll break this. Because I have time to do that. He vaults. It's good for me. You ain't getting that in time. Oh, I have a basement right here, too. Fucking huge, actually. I see you there. Reset this. And set this here. They're going to pick up the ash now. And I gotta pick this up. Looking away from you, because you don't have background player. Otherwise, you would have sprinted around me earlier the vibrato of some of these screams is wild yeah they're pretty they're pretty up there i will i will agree with you there we'll set that there gotta go wide though on it because we can run into our own traps as you remember 
And we get the insta-down because of Starstruck. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, they're, they really are like opera singers sometimes, huh? Uh, I could go for basement, right? But, oh, that person hit that trap there, Lamau. That's really funny. Actually, I probably could have made it to basement, huh? Because of, um, because of agitation. Would have been able to do that. Yeah, that's still regressing. They're healing in the back corner here. Or, like, they're moving to the back corner here. Let me get that. I'm gonna pick you up now. Because we do have the agitation available. Starstruck makes anyone in our terror radius exposed, which is good. Hang up here. Or little to no effort, no in between. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. <laughs> It's like, I will be singing a perfect soprano, or... Girl, what is you doing? Well, anyway. What, what are you doing? I have, I have starstruck, you fool! <laughs> Alright, uh... We'll put you over here. I think this is a decent hook to put you on. Hello there, Leon. Would you like to hear about our Lord and Savior, Starstruck? Whee! Oh, he goes for the unhook. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nice little one for one for me. And look at that. It. That ain't had him. Yeah, that ain't had him. Sorry, girly. And Kate's going for the unhook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want to be an altruist? <laughs> a anyone else feeling like being altruistic right now? I'm gonna take you over to this hook because I know that the Jill has a um, boil over, and so I don't want to take her to a closer gen. I want to take her or. Uh, Further hook, I want to take her to a closer hook. So there goes the Kate. I'm gonna pick you up too, because no one else on that backside. No D strike either. Don't be a hero, guys. Yeah, like, I mean, the the thing is, they know that I have Starstruck, which exposes them or it, it inflicts them with exposed, which is a um a debuff that basically means I can down you in one hit whenever I pick up a survivor. So if they're in my terror radius, they get exposed for a certain number of seconds, and then I... What in the world? What the hell was that bubble? Oh. <laughs> and a ashes in main building over there. I'm gonna kill this Leon, though. Um, anyway. Oh, you should have gone for the pallet! But yeah, because they know that I have Starstruck, you should not be, like, standing around me when I'm picking up other survivors. That's just not a good idea. <laughs> just not gonna work for you. So, Agitation actually doing a lot of work for us this game, though. Put one here. Pick this. Just get the points. Uh, we'll put one here. Just kind of, like... Moving choke points. You explain these, the only knowledge of the game I get? Of course, yeah. I'm glad to explain um, whatever I can. Uh, if you're confused as well about terror radius, let me know, because I know that's like a term that I've been throwing around. Um, you might not, like, again, you might not know, you might know literally nothing about the game, and I don't want to, I don't want to insult you, though, by just, oh, yes, uh, Rainy, as a man, I can explain everything to you, you know? Like, I don't want to, be that person, you know. <laughs> you know, I just have feel, feel him too. Okay, that's good. That's that's my goal. I want people to be informed without being talked down to, I suppose. Any... No, no hatch offerings. Uh, 
Um, but, uh, yeah. Let me know if there's, like, any other mechanics or words that I use that you're confused on, because I'd be glad to explain them. And I'm learning just at, at the same rate as you are. The thing is that I have a couple hundred hours of experience in this game, and so I know a lot of the base mechanics. Don't know much about, about the execution of it, you know? 11-4-3. It's not bad. GG's. Ah, <clears throat> oh, they were all grouped together. That's why. That's fair. The The funny thing about people saying like, oh, you should nerf survive with friends groups, right? But the, but when I found when you have people who are not in survive with friends groups, they tend to play super altruistically and then I can just beat the crap out of them with starstruck agitation. <laughs> Unlucky. Most of them generally confuse me? Okay, well, let's see. If if a lot of them generally confuse you, then how about this? Like, the next time that I say a specific term... Oops, it's not meant to be there. Uh, say, like, oh, so you mentioned this, like, what is, you know, a terror radius? What is the mangled effect? Or uh, and that sort of thing. No, zero. Like a bunny swift me. <laughs> uh, I'm a little nervous about the fact that I'm doing well on Trapper. Because the game is like, ah yes, you're getting 4Ks and 3Ks regularly. This means that you should be... This means that you should be... Uh, playing against really good gamers. Like, eh. Do I really need to? Both of those things, what do they mean? Uh, okay, so I know that I talked about the mangled effect. I forgot what the first one was. So I'll talk about mangled first. So mangled, in this game you can uh, inflict survivors with a very variety of status effects. And mangled is a status effect that makes it so that survivors take 25% longer time to heal. And that's it. Um, it helps with slowing the game down because if a survivor wants to heal in order to, um, you know, make sure they don't go down in one hit from injured to dying, then they, ha they take longer to heal and it like stalls the game out a little bit. So it's a pretty decent status effect overall, although it's getting nerfed to next patch, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, because I do play killer the most. And what was the other thing that I mentioned? I'm not sure. Ooh, bloody coil. Very nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Those started with a T. Did I say terror radius? Was that one? That might have been it. Because, uh... So every killer in the game, if, it's, if it was terror radius, every killer in the game has this status, or this, um... What? What's the word? Not ability. Passive ability. Condition. No, what is... Uh, how do I... Well, I guess you can just call it an attribute. They have an attribute. <laughs> it's written right there for me. Uh, called a terror radius. Which means that... Well, survivors, when they're playing the game, they hear uh, chase music and a loud heartbeat sound whenever a killer is nearby them. And it gets louder the closer they get. So... Against the trapper, you start hearing his terror radius at 32 meters away from him. And then it gets louder and louder the closer he gets. Um, so that so when I was talking, when I had the person in my arms, because I was carrying them, and I had that perk called Starstruck that made them exposed, if they were th within that 32 meter radius of me picking that person up, they would then have an effect where I could down them with one hit within, I think, the next... 45 seconds? I can't remember exactly. 30 seconds. Uh, for the next 30 seconds. So if I... If someone is in my terror radius, when I pick a survivor up, then... they get hit with that effect for 30 seconds. And if I hit them with a M1 attack, like a basic left mouse button, mouse 1 attack, they go down instantly. Like from... Immediately from healthy to dying on the floor where I can pick them up again. So that's that's what that 
whole ordeal is and why the terror radius is effective and important in this game. It just kind of lets you know generally where a killer is. Yeah, now you know. Now you got it. Yeah. So that's also why, like, you'll see survivors running away from me um, is because I'm close enough for them to be concerned about my, my terror radius. And like, oh, the trapper's getting close. We have to make sure we move over this way so that we don't get hit. That's all it is. Very, very straightforward system once you get a handle on it for sure. Oh, I'm on a, I'm on a blood points. Damn. That was fun though. I, I like the Agi Starstruck. That was really fun. <laughs> Um, an agitation this perk here just makes it so that uh, I increase my terror radius size. So now Starstruck, instead of hitting at 32 meters, it hits at 44 meters in a radius around me. Um, and I move faster when I'm holding somebody in my arms. Which kind of sounds a little romantic, actually. <laughs> I move faster when you're in my arms. <laughs> oh, jeez. Take some notes real quick. Yeah, you'll you'll definitely understand it like as time goes on too, because the general gameplay loop of Dead by Daylight has not changed significantly. I'd say in the last seven years. So, once you understand what my objective is, what the survivor objective is, you can kind of pick up on the that's like the foundation, and then you build up from there. So, yeah, just some general general things Ooh, also dead by daylight has a strange mmr system i will say regardless of them sabotaging themselves yeah exactly the trapper sabotages himself by stepping in his own traps the trickster tra sabotages himself by like having so much bloom on his uh knife throws that you can't consistently use his power <laughs> Oh well. Mad fat man. This Nicholas Cage is prestige thirty three. So I'm trying to or thirty four. Can I read numbers? I don't think I can. Yeah, thirty four and twenty three. But uh, so prestige happens whenever you get to level fifty, and then you can. Spend 20,000 blood points to get one prestige level. And so that means that this person has hit that 20,000 blood points to prestige up once to uh, 34 times. So they have played a lot more Dead by Daylight than I have. But people who play this game a lot can also be terrible at it. I mean, just look at me in my League of Legends career. Never got any higher than gold. Uh, and I had been playing pretty consistently on and off since 2012. <laughs> so, if I really dedicated my time to learning the game and caring about it, I could probably say like, oh, I ha I could get diamond, but at a certain point I was just like, eh, I just like the game. How many, how many hours they have in this game? A lot more than me. I have no idea otherwise, though. And there's no way for me to check because, um... This one content creator pointed out, or did like a test where he would intentionally look at people's Steam profiles to see which person had um, the least number of hours in the lobby, and then he would specifically focus on getting that person out as quickly as possible, like killing that person as quickly as possible. And because that content creator, you know, did that and had some level of success, he's he said you should private your you should private your Steam profile and your game time because killers can use this against you if you're a survivor. And so if they have a Steam profile, it's usually private. And in the case of this lobby specifically, they all have like a little globe icon, which means that they're on crossplay. So they could be on console, they could be on the Epic Game Store, either or. And uh, that means that I, I also can't look at a Steam profile because they obviously don't have a Steam profile. 27 hours in The Sims 4? Hell yeah. 
<laughs> that, um, the Sims 4 reminds me of this meme where it's like people will get some PC that has the same level of power as a, a space station and then use it to play The Sims 4. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on. Test to speech. Hello. <laughs> testing. Testing, testing. Oh, hey, Steven. How's it going, buddy? I see you. Uh, I'm going to hit this knee. Here's my jump scare, bitches. Thank also, you for the jump scare. request access for gigantic beta, or else I'll find all of you. I like how it says beta. Why does it say beta? <laughs> not, not, not beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Do you have, um... You fucking idiot. <laughs> Get baited. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, not what I did with my PC. This is a call-out post. <laughs> so, the funny little thing that I did... Thank you, you know, by the way, for the Prime Gaming for 11 months, Cameron. I appreciate you greatly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and also, I did request access for the gigantic beta. I am, you know, off to the races on that already. I have agitation, you fool. Claw crawling away does nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I did indeed request access for the gigantic beta, so I'm excited for that to happen. Also, the Steve... <laughs> this Not the Steve disconnecting immediately. So, a funny thing that you can do with the Trapper, because this game is jank... Uh, oh, and everyone's giving up on Hook. Fucking Lamau. <laughs> uh, a funny thing you can do with Trapper is that you can you can fake a pickup animation by pressing right click uh, to place a trap if you have a trap in your hands, right? And so what that means is that it looks like I'm picking someone up and that Steve was like, oh, okay, they're picking someone up. Oh, who the fuck? Who is in a locker? What? Sorry, I, I got... Oh, you're, you have head on. That's what's happening. I see. I see, I see. Jump scared me a little bit there, too. Whee! I'm excited. They have fully custom lobbies? No way. That's... Actually, that's sick as hell. What the hell? What on earth? Well, damn. Hmm. Fully custom lobbies. Dude, I was so sad to hear that Gigantic got um, put under because, like, the game, I don't know, technically didn't really, like, make a profit, right? All right, I can't body block after a certain point. Forgot about that. Eh, we can pretend. Oh. Oh. I thought she was camping the pallet there. You can put it on the inside here. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> on that one too. That's nice. That's pretty sick, actually. Drop it at five. Oh, you can't fake it, brother. <laughs> I will swing through that. Microsoft was a bunch of dicks, but Gearbox saved them. Really? Gearbox? I was... Huh. Gearbox is not what I was aware of, actually. But Gearbox is... And the Nia disconnects too? Brother, you're disconnecting against a fucking trapper. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, oh, that's too funny. But they're like, ah, Trapper got basement? It's fucking GG's. It's over, man. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't know about that, though. I, I gotta look into the development more. That might be something I do for another video, then. So I talk about the development of... Um, me again. Oh, I was in I was in range. I was in range of that shit. All right, well. Yeah. That was really bad. Sorry, I keep getting jump scared. You see me like actually jumping at these things. <laughs> the Borderlands people? That's who that's what they made. I was trying to remember where I heard gearboxes. I know I've played one of their games before. I just didn't know whom they were. That's really cool, though. I mean, that does sound like a thing that Gearbox would be interested in, in developing, right? 
just considering how much personality has been put into the um, the Borderlands games, right? I'm gonna go for Nick here. I haven't done anything with Nick yet. Wait, never mind. Alan's just running in a totally wrong direction. Yeah. Hello. They made Battleborn just to acquire Gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> That is, that is kind of ironic, isn't it? Alright, here you go. Up you go. Sorry, buddy. Did not mean to tunnel you out, but... Let's reset this, actually. Why not? It's a random-ass trap that won't catch anyone, but... I find it funny, though, like, as the... Are we done? Yeah. I think we're done. I think this game is pretty over. I'm sorry, Mr. Cage. Uh, the bot's over there, too, on my right. Or no, just on this generator. I'm gonna go for the bot. <clears throat> Fuck the Nick Cage. Coming straight from the underground. Oh, right, I can't, I can't loop a bot. <laughs> I forgot. I can't, like, mind game a bot. Because the bot constantly reads where you are. Does not matter what you do. They have Champion of Light. Was that dead hard? Okay. Alright then. Alright, up you go. Bye bye, Steve. Uh. Where is Nick Cage? Because <clears throat> Nick Cage is the one that deserves to get out. Unfortunately, I did kill the Alan Wake, though. It was not. <laughs> we had two fucking DCs on a, <laughs> on a Trapper game, man. <laughs> I don't- I don't want him to get the... Dead hard, dead perk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the Nick Cage go because he didn't give up. Waiting for this. Because they had two people give up on a trapper game. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to feel about it? <laughs> anyway. The bots won't ever give up, by the way. And the Nick was doing gens, like he was playing the game. I, I like can't I can't fault him for that, you know? No, I'm not going to. Alright. Where's the hatch? Let's go find the hatch, bubby. You know, if, the funny thing is that if he let me down him, I could actually find the hatch a lot sooner. Because I have because I have agitation and I move at base 115 movement speed. Which uh uh, oh, sorry, I, I completely skipped over your message, Adonis. Up until 3's 3 was bad story-wise. Yeah, that's what, that's what I remember hearing about it. I played 2 a fair amount uh, with, with friends of mine. And so, uh... That was... I'm just gonna... Do I get reset points for this? Nope. Okay. Whatever. Dead hard, more like dead perk. They fucking killed my dead hard. I think it's back in this corner. Yep, here it is. Are you doing gents? No, no, no. We're we're getting you out of here. You're wasting my fucking time. <laughs> Come on, let's let's end the game. <laughs> Just get out of here. Wasting my fucking time. <laughs> Why are you doing gens? I wanted you to just leave the game. <laughs> oh man, because it gets you it gets you more uh blood points that way anyway. I'm just gonna stay here and wait for him to find the 
Exogates. I don't even know if he knows that this one exists. This was the one that was closer to the generator he completed. Maybe he went back for the other one? I just want to stare at him. That's all. Get my chase points. Oh yeah, there he is. Hello! Alright, see you later. Have a good one. Whee! <laughs> Two DCs! Two! Two DCs against a trapper! What is wrong with you? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And I can't like talk to them either because they're all crossplay players, so they can't they don't have access to the post-game chat. <laughs> well, this Steve had dead hard second win spine chill decisive strike, so he was looking to not be the first one caught. The Nia had... What is this? It's the Hattie perk. Overzealous? Windows Adrenaline Resilience. But she was AFK at the start. Went down. I baited the Steve into using his flashlight and cracked him over the head. Bl blast mine head on quick and quiet champion of light. This Alan was gaming. He, he was like fully intent on being in the stun bot. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Steve got caught first. No, the Nia was the one that I caught first. Um, because she was AFK at the start. I am wonder and then M wonder again to down her. Went to M1 the Steve, went to pick up the Nia, like pick up with the, the fake trap, then down the Steve. And then I guess I technically did catch Steve first, but the. Mm, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you think of his terms of caught. Because I, I think I hooked Steve first. I don't know. Anyway, that, that result was hilarious. I gotta write it down. Two. On my spreadsheet. Two. Uh, it was nine, three, three. Delta Woods. No. Two. Two DCs against the fucking trapper. <laughs> I'm, I'm just blown away by that. Added notes. Two DCs gave Nick Cage the uh, gate. He, uh, but Steve was the first one to disconnect, and as soon as the Nia saw that as a trapper, I got basement. They're like, mm -mm, "I'm out of here, bye bye." Because <laughs> trapper isn't good until he gets um. Until he gets basement, because then he can just trap off all the entrances to basement, and what are you gonna do? What are you gonna... you gonna disarm all the traps around basement? It's not gonna happen. It gives me a loud noise notification, and depending on the add-ons that I have, it could be injuring you, too. So... Like, I... I understand the frustration, I just think it's... Terribly misplaced. <laughs> Obi runs into his traps, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. I could try an eerie run too. Iridescent trapper. I'm really liking agitation, though. On this killer. Maybe that's like a recommended build for him. Let's see. I know some websites to find recommended killer builds, so maybe the trapper. It was like base is recommended to have agitation. Nope. Not even remotely. Wow. <laughs> I do have the aggressive scourge build recommended though, by mistake. They say this build site says to go corrupt intervention, deadlock, no way out, no ed. I'll leave it on tier one though for no way out. Yeah, we'll just keep we'll just keep running this build. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And do 
coffee grounds instead. And we we could do the double eerie because the uh, iridescent that's like the pink color is called iridescent rarity. The iridescent uh, add-ons do quite a lot of work. So this one does just like at random a bear trap on the map becomes reset. And then this one is whenever a bear trap is disarmed, it injures the survivor that's disarming it, if they're healthy. So you can do quite a bit of damage with that. Uh, Honing Stone's also good. If the victim frees themselves, they are left dying. Trapper Sack, you can't, be, you can't pick up traps, but all of your traps are in your pocket instead, so you don't have to go around and pick them up. There's a lot of interesting add-ons for the Trapper. Still so far away from even just one prestige level, though. Oof. It is quite... quite the arduous journey. I have finally, I have finally convinced Scooch potentially to play Ori. <laughs> it's pretty funny. What's your favorite kind of soup? That's a good question. Hmm. What is my favorite kind of soup? You know, I like uh, this one like. I like squash soups, and I should do it again, but I used to make this butternut squash and carrot soup. Absolutely wonderful. No wrong answers. Yeah, that's true. There are really no wrong answers for soup unless you say like, yeah, my favorite soup is ketchup. Because it's because you get it, it's, it's pureed, it's pureed fruits put into a bowl. <laughs> so there is te there is technically a wrong answer there. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I don't think I'd ever just eat straight ketchup. I don't like the taste of ketchup even. Which reminds me, I think... I need... I have, I have some stuff I need to clean out of my fridge. <laughs> ketchup just reminded me. I don't like soup is the wrong answer. There you go. Now, soup is good. I think, like, soup also has its specific use cases, though. Like, you don't want to be, oh, yes, it today was a blazing 92. I'm going to cool down this evening with a nice hot bowl of soup. <laughs> but that ain't going to work. And if, um, if pho uh, and other sort of similar stuff counts as soups i also really like that like uh a, a noodle a noodle soup with some beef cut and uh some what do they call it chives sliced green onions you know a little bit of garlic maybe nostromo nostromo i've not played this map with this killer before so, it'll be interesting to see how it's played out. Uh, I've got a feeling that they spawned over in this direction somewhere. Could be even on my left right now. Keep my eyes peeled. With your eyes open. Put it in here. He also does this little uh, grunting sound when he does that Ugh, sound. It means that he's collected all the traps that he can carry. I think I saw a bird over there, didn't I? Maybe not. Hmm. I did hear this going, though. Hello, Vittorio. How's it going? I approached from a strange angle, so they didn't they didn't know what to think of it. I'm gonna pre-trap this. 
I'll eat chowder during the summer in 99 degree weather. See, that's a methodology I don't agree with. I don't... I don't disagree with soup, you know? It's a very important distinction. No balance landing on this person either. Just gonna go for the M1. I don't think he has windows? That was really delayed. <laughs> well, <clears throat> off to a start. A good one? Eh, debatable. But a start, nonetheless. I'm gonna go for this person here. I'm, I'm done with you, Vittorio. Hello, Nancy. <clears throat> a nice hit there. Doesn't... She drops the pallet? Why? Seems strange, hey? Called it. Mm. I'm gonna bring you to the center of the map here. It'll give me better... A better look at where people are. Now... I love how offended you look when the game doesn't make sense. I mean, can you blame me? <laughs> we have a very specific transaction on how this game is supposed to work. And it ain't working that way. <laughs> eh, alright. I'll pick him up. I'm near a hook, anyway. Also, this trap is just floating here, Lamau. Uh, in this bush. I think this might be a good spot. <laughs> Not even a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Again, people giving up against Trapper. That's crazy, dog. Well, that person went to second hook state without me even doing anything. Like, I hooked him once. I even hooked him on a Scourge hook. Yeah, like, not. you can't even blame me a little bit for that, though. Man, that's Vittoria. I want to find the person that rescued you. That's what I'm most interested in. Eh, uh, maybe I shouldn't be, though. I need to go find people that are on gens. I don't... I think Nancy might be back on this one. No? Oh, right, it was this one. I got the locations mixed up. Uh, why is he playing so trappers so well? Yeah, fair enough, I guess, right? <clears throat> uh, we'll go for Bill here. All right, Billiam. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten any Scourge Hook hits yet. Gotcha. Glad that I set that up earlier. Worked out quite well for me. <laughs> I think I'm just I think I'm just running into people who are generally inexperienced too. Like that honestly feels like the that feels like what the case is. Huh? Hello? English? I English uh not first language, sorry. I can't set a trap there either. That's ass. That's some dog ass. All right, we gotta remember that the um, the Nancy is on death hook as well. So if we can find her, we actually kill her now. Which kind of sucks to say because I don't like tunneling people out, but yeah, sometimes it's what you have to do for this game. You know, like tunneling being having tunnel vision on killing a specific person, right? Don't be healing under hook. If I come up here and you're healing under hook, I will be so upset. I see you, Vittorio. All right. Doesn't he miss that? Huh? All right, whatever. Gotcha. I said I said a trap there specifically for that situation, and it failed. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that's the one with the most progress. Oh, Nancy. I'm just going to pick you up right away for that one. You dead, girl. Um, 
Let's take you over here. Into a corner. So that I don't use a hook that's like closer to all the action here. And you're dead. Goodbye. Um, so the thing about the reason why I know that or uh that a reason why I take that person further out, Rainy, is because when a survivor dies, that hook that they die on is permanently destroyed, and I can never reuse it. Uh whereas, you know, obviously like survivors that die on or uh, go onto a hook. Mm. Hello, Bill. But yeah, the, the hook, like, is permanently destroyed, right? And, uh... That means that... I have to... Then strategically play around that, and... Work on... Uh, let's do this. First. Give me this. There we go. Hitbox is not showing up. Properly. And if a survivor dies in that corner again, I want to still have access to that hook. So that's why I use the perk that I have, which makes me move faster when I'm carrying people. And took him, took the Nancy into a place where there was like a higher concentration of hooks. Damn, this uh, Kate's been doing gens like mad. He's doing great. Take me into a corner here. I hear her breathing too, I think. She's just sprinting away. Is that life? <laughs> Might have been life. You make the best use of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And the only hooks that don't get destroyed. There's basement, by the way. The only hooks that don't get destroyed. Oh, tragic. <laughs> but the only hooks that don't get destroyed in this game are um, uh, hooks in the basement. So, that's just another fun little tidbit. Also, putting this person way out in the corner is great, because now this isolates them a lot more. Since they have a person dead, that means that they only have two other people that they can realistically send to pick this person up. And, I'm gonna reset that trap. Now, I'm not getting as much use out of my uh, Starstruck perk as I as I was last game on, on Blood Launch, but... We're doing okay here. And I'm going to go ahead and trap this window here. And so it's difficult for them to go into this part of the map later. And now we go back to where the Kate is. Because now they're like back in this corner. Um, I'm going to put a trap here. It's kind of a dumb trap, but might be just what we need. Whee! And one more here. Like, putting all the stuff in the corners definitely sucks, but... Oh, she's around back. Or, no, she's in this locker. <laughs> heard ya. I was trying to figure out where that was. I just, uh, I heard, I heard the noises of pain and was drawn to them. Oddly. It might be working on the generator inside of the main building there, too. Let's find out. Give me this. No, but they jumped into there? What? Oh, wait. Okay, I, I did hear him jump in there. I heard you breathing. Okay. And there should be a hook back here. I don't know. Is that Bill's death? It is. Okay. I'm at me. <clears throat> well, two down, two to go. The same could be said about my opponents and their generators here. Also, I have two left to go. Let me go check under the hook because altruism is funny. Yeah. Worth the check. But they healed up, I think, like over here, actually. Because I didn't see any scratch marks coming towards me. Yeah, and I just find the Kate immediately. 
Hello. I mean, both of them are death hook, so it doesn't really matter whom I go for, really. Do a quick little slash there. I'm gonna put this here. Never mind. Gotcha. Up you go. Use this hook over here. Nope. Come on. There we go. Up you go. Goodbye, gamer. Uh, I think Vittorio is also over there somewhere. Let's find out. Because obviously someone had to have taken the Kate off the hook. Oh, he was on a... That's really fucking funny. Goodbye, Hatch. Yeah, the, uh... Vittorio was over here. Because we saw him blow up the generator. We got a notification for that sca scaled fill check. Uh, you know, English was also not exactly my strongest language. In fact, it was probably the bottom three out of the two that I kind of know. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I have to place it like that, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. They might have also snuck around behind me and gone for that gate, which, at which point, sure, you know, they get out. It's a decently, oh, okay. Now I know they're there. Less word, do trick. Exactly. All right, so now we gotta look for the Vittoria around here. Cause he's not close, or he's close by, which also means that he's not close enough to the uh, other, oh, there he is. I th no, th sorry, that was the charm on my hook that I saw. All right, keep running back. I'm gonna check over here. This is why I wish I had no ed, cause I think I just gave him a lot of distance to make that eight. Okay, this gets it again. Come back. <clears throat> we deny the exit here. Yeah, he's just like resetting the trap and then backing off. <laughs> but he's not going to have enough time to escape now. So that works for me. I just don't know what where he's like dipping away to. Like open my eyes on this. Where even are you? I'm blind. I, I'm I'm myopic. Hmm. He's just dead. That outfit is hard to see though, admittedly. That's just cruel though. For me to kill him like that. Unlucky. Hello. Get, Get a little bit of trap setting there. Yay! We did it again. Woo. We've hit the 4K <laughs> on Trapper. All things. Uh, gems remaining was two. Well, for four, map was Nostromo Wreckage. No, zero. Cool. Victorio uh, died during EGC. Very nice, very nice. Oh, look at that! We get bonus blood points for playing Killer at this hour, because all of the... All of the people who play this game with their friends and survive with friends groups are now online. And I... am just one person. Ooh, brutal strength. Very nice. Mm-mm-mm. this useless add-on but that's fine <laughs> sure we'll take rank three huntress's lullaby <laughs> Oof. all right not bad results so far <laughs> i am technically on a five win streak right now what languages do you know i know english and mandarin chinese but my Mandarin is not good anymore because I moved out of that. Moved out of Taiwan a number of years ago. And there's not exactly a lot of opportunity to practice it out here in middle of nowhere, Idaho. The, the thing was, 
so the interesting thing about Taiwan as well is that you can, if you have an American passport or a Canadian one, you can visit Taiwan visa free for 90 days. So you can stay in the country for three months. And um, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a pretty decent deal being able to stay there for three months. But I, I did that like three years ago now. Yeah, in the summer of 2021, I went out and I stayed with my family there because uh, I was helping my parents move out. And I, at the end of the three months, like literally on the last day, something in my brain finally clicked back into place and I understood everything that was being said. Like my fluency after the three months that I had spent there kicked back in and I was leaving two days later. And I was just so frustrated. I was like, no, I'm losing this language again because <laughs> I... Because I'm living in the States, but I'm hoping, like, my my dream uh, thing to do in the future is, one, complete the degree I'm working on, which is going to take a couple, of, like, a year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half, actually. I'm getting close to it. So the end of it now. So complete my degree. Then I want to go back to Taiwan to this university called Donghai University. And Donghai has a two-year extensive language training course that are intensive not extensive intensive well i guess it's both but yeah intensive language course for mandarin so i really want to become fluent in the language again and i want to move back to asia which i know would suck for playing games with the gamers all the friends and stuff but um that's just the trade-off that i'll have to have but also, like, Taiwan's kind of in a bit of an interesting political situation right now. So who knows if that's ever going to pan out. Because it could be a crater in the ocean in the next few years, <laughs> depending on how things go. Break generators. I think we have Pop that Goes the Weasel now. There's a... Uh, Generator kicking perk. We'll do brutal strength. We'll do pop is two, but that's not bad, right? It's only like five seconds left. Not that, but you're learning again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I was really happy that I was able to pick the language back up after after so long, you know, being away from it and stuff, and it just feels satisfying, you know. It feels very, very satisfying. You know, you know, you know. I, 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 use, I use that so much, man. Need to bring it back. Nyla back a bit. Can we do deadlock and pop and eruption or... It's probably not a good idea to build something around this idea, but... Up goes the weasel, Dragon's Grip, Trail of Torment, Discordance. Mm, I have Discordance. I don't have Dragon's Grip, though. So that makes me think that I'll need something else to extend the game. Which means... Corrupt Intervention. Buh. And... Discordance? Eruption? Hmm. Trying to think of what my last perk should be here. I think it should be eruption. But discordance helps me find people though. That's the thing. Okay, we'll do discordance. I think discordance might be better all around <laughs> darkens the appearance of bear traps good lord mm. do secondary coil and trapper bag with some blood point offering try this <clears throat> i also was told you know what 
Maybe we don't play the trapper. We'll play some Nemesis. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Apparently, Discordance actually works really well with um, with Nemesis. So, we will try it. Is No Way Out recommended? I'm trying to think. I think a late game item might be good. Or late game perk might be good for the Nemesis here. We'll see. <clears throat> nemesis. Nemesis, Nemesis, Nemesis. Nemesis, Nemesis. Discordance, Hex, Ruin, Hex, Pentimento, Pain Res. Hmm. We'll do Pain Res. And... We'll take No Way Out. Oh, unless I haven't. No, I have. Cool. I have a level 3. And then... It's... I, I uh, got some advice from people who actually play Nemesis that Marvin's Blood is his best add-on, so we'll go ahead and run that. And see what it do. Because for whatever reason, I'll show you guys a crazy graph with my uh, phone here. So you know that I... Some of you might know. I don't know how many people know or care particularly. <clears throat> but some of you might know that I do have a second channel where I upload just kind of like gen generic commentary stuff, right? And I don't really... I admittedly don't put a lot of effort into that channel because I don't want to. It's not... It's not a channel that I am trying to put effort into. I just want to have fun, make commentaries, have uh, those... He has zip tie or staples all over him. Uh, but yeah, I just like... It's just a channel that I'm having fun with. I don't promote it basically anywhere. And the video out of literally nowhere. Here's here's the graph for it. So that spike there is just after like two and a half days, YouTube's like, yeah, um, we're just gonna put this in people's recommended feeds, and now it's the second most viewed video on that channel. <laughs> like seven hundred views, just out of nowhere. I don't know why. It's not promoted anywhere. Didn't put anything like crazy in the title or the thumbnail. I just was like, oh yeah. Here you go. Here's me getting Prestige 3 on Nemesis. <laughs> Apparently that, that was enough. That was interesting enough. That's cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's just weird. Because it's like, on one hand, it's really cool that the channel like got some attention just out of nowhere. But also, it makes me paranoid because I don't know what constituted that change. <laughs> I like I I have literally zero idea what made that video go anywhere. YouTube's just weird to me, man. If it's on that channel, where I don't promote anything, I just, like, upload stuff. Or if it's on the main Sojourner Kai channel, the videos, for whatever reason, YouTube's like, yes, we will update it, or we will start promoting it two days after you upload it. Every single time. Doesn't matter when I, when I what day I upload or what time. It's, like, every single time, uh, roughly, like, two to three days after the video's uploaded, that's when it starts getting recommended to people. So, for example, the uh, Dong and Rampa video I uploaded on my birthday, and that the first one specifically, that video got. Hold on, I'm gonna I gotta look for people now. But that video got like no views the first two days, like a hundred views maybe I think, which for me is like pretty pretty small nowadays. Um, How long was the video? Uh, the one, the Nemesis one or the Danganronpa one? Hello, Leon from Stars. Wonderful. The Danganronpa video was an hour and a half. The Nemesis video was half an hour in length. Drop it, baby. Oh, he's not dropping it. Okay. I'll, I'll just. 
Get that. Very nice. We get the down and we get tier two off of that. Thanks to da, 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 good old, good old Marvin's blood. The one that got randomly pushed, uh, it was half an hour. The The Nemesis video that I made on the channel that I don't promote anything on was half an hour long. The Danganronpa video, which also got randomly pushed after a couple of days, also was, or was an hour and a half long. And it just, you know, at some point went, the views went up. I don't know why. Damn, we missed. He's looking behind him quite frequently. So we're just gonna M1 and call it a day. So I'm working on that too. We took a wrong path. Deku, die. I saw Ada over here too. Okay, Ada's not coming. At least I don't think she is. I'm gonna walk through this like a gamer. All right, this goes up. Wonderful. Unhook's gonna happen in a few seconds here, otherwise Leon gets stage two. There we go. But yeah, like the one on the Shiny Silpion channel had no right going anywhere. Because the one that I made before it, the one that was from uh, about me getting Prestige 3 on the artist, also went literally nowhere. Like it, it has 20 views. Even though it's the exact same content and length, it's just... I guess it's like the killer isn't quite as popular. And so people just weren't as interested in watching. I gotta break this, because this window's too strong without breaking it. So I I have honestly no idea. And it's the same with my like other edited YouTube content, like with the Dong and Rama video, right? I don't know what people want for my content because I don't know what my content is at the moment. And then the Pal World video is my most viewed video by, like, overall performance compared to, again, everything else on my channel. <laughs> it, it, it is ranked 1 out of 10 out of my last 10 videos, which means, like, out of the last 10 videos, it has the most views uh, in relative to the time since it's been uploaded. Um, so, like... I have, I have zero, z literally zero, 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 zero idea. I think that's gonna. Ooh, ooh, moonwalk it. Ooh. All right, well. Well, Leon, you hesitated too many times. Oh, never mind. He's just greeting the pallet, I guess. What the fuck? Okay, that was some FOV tech, even though I have like max FOV. Break this. So, yeah, I, I have zero idea what YouTube is doing with my stuff. And it's also, like, on, on my fall, right? Nah, I'm not even remotely close in range. Or, uh, in range. But it's also, like, partially my fault, right? Because... Oh, sprint burst action. Very nice. I can go for this Nia. Or Yui. What? That's not Nia. I see, I see the colored hair, and I think Nia. We hear some of these similar content mentioned you and made their viewing watch your video. I guess, right? But or that would be a nice thing to think about. That my video was picked up by some other spaces, or maybe not so nice to think about because I know that I don't have very. My opinions are not. Uh, how would I put it? Good, I guess. Or the opinions that I have are not like popular ones. I think. And so I'm more likely to just run into issues where the peop the things that I, or that when the video gets recommended to another audience, that audience is usually looking for content to validate or like actually discuss or, uh, is it validation? No, the word, what am I looking for? Like they want something that has a even view of the content that they like to consume, right? And so because it has an even view of the content that they like to consume, then my views, which are, quite frankly, generally speaking, negative. Uh, oh, I'm going to kill this person here. Unlucky. I'm so sorry, Yui. I did not mean to give you the tunneling, but this is what ended up happening. The longer the video, more ads, I think. Yeah, that's true. 
That is true. I think, like, the videos that haven't done quite as well on my channel in recent times have been the videos that are under 20 minutes long. Uh, most specifically, the ones that haven't done that well have been, um... Uh, what in the world, Ada is zooming Sprint Burst again on this person. Uh, but anyway, the videos that haven't done quite as well are the ones where I talk about... One, I talk about dated games, like I talked about Dead by Daylight and how I play it now. And I talk about, like, Fortnite, right? Uh, very briefly. And, uh... You know, those videos didn't do quite as well, but it could, it could be, like, a video-length thing. I, I'm entirely willing to believe that. I think Steve is around here. I'm gonna pick up this way. Do I hear you on my left? Hmm. Yeah, he's getting healed, I guess. On a gen... Somewhere. I heard that scream. Hmm. I don't know what gen, though. This one? Oh yeah, this one. Hello, Stephen. Hide the red light. And again. Oh, <laughs> ran through me, Lamau. That's really funny. Calm spirit, that's really funny. Oh, definitely, yeah. Like, I, I mean, that's why I made the video anyway on Power World was because it was both, it was a recent topic that also just fascinated me. Happens a lot, really, huh? Well, yeah, I think a lot of factors that worked in the favor there. And also, like, yeah, like you said, video length could be a factor in it. It's just weird that, like, I'll never know if the topic is really inherently popular if, uh, by, like, the first couple days of results. Literally no idea. <laughs> Actively no idea. Somebody's healing in the corner. Hello, Ada. Hello, Mario. Oh, she went out that way. So, I don't know, maybe Dead by Daylight is trending because people want to see Nemesis gameplay. Or maybe De Dead by Daylight isn't trending because nobody wants to see Artist gameplay. Artist is uh, one of the least popular killers in this game by uh, play rate, by the way. Fun fact. Just a quick little tidbit for you. Hey, Rowler here. Oh, I thought you would try to dodge out from the wall, Lamau. I 360'd myself. <laughs> oh, it was a misplay, huh? Yeah. GG's. Poor Leon. Up you go. Stalks. I mean I did I did get the Leon earlier, so. It's not like I'm being unfair to these people. I did I did kind of unfortunately tunnel that UE out though. Oh, I do feel bad about that. Now where is Leon? Trying to listen for breathing. Oh. I think I went for the unhook. Guess they're gonna heal under there too. Just slipped in the recommendation. Yeah, that's fair. I think I think that's good in that case that I've basically carved out a niche for myself. You know, another back here was the hook, right? Yeah, it's this hook back here. Let's see the scratchies. Hello, Leon. Don't test me, I will slap you. Damn, I thought he was gonna come around. <laughs> Ended up mind gaming myself. Oh. Yeah, I ain't falling for that fake. It was a good try. 
It's on this corner. Walked back into me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That should be a down. <clears throat> a little bit of tier three range, baby. Up you go. I have fun with it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I just, I think like ultimately my frustration at the end of the day is like I, I really, I want to understand the system a little bit better, but alas. I guess I do understand the system. I just need to find a way to carve that niche out a little bit better. And I really do want to make content creation more of a regular thing for myself that I can do. Wee! I'm gonna reset that zombie. What's coming over here to do? She's getting the person off the hook too. We can see because of that uh, zombie with its arms raised. That's why I felt fine with leaving because they can't stay because that zombie's going to harass them off and they have it has increased movement speed from an add-on that we have i sound like as if i have a channel well i mean even if so it, it's it's good advice right because even if you don't have a channel the you still know how to observe and, and talk about what you've what you've observed from uh watching other youtube channels right like in the same way that you can also talk about movies right or like criticize a movie for its bad elements or praise one for its good ones it's not because like you're an incredible movie director it's because you've seen movies you understand how those movies work and like you know what you think is good and bad about about film right and so in the same way like even if you're like well i'm talking as if i have a youtube channel you still know what you've observably seen from other youtube channels in the meantime i don't think that that's anything scoff at really no fucking way <laughs> I think she brought the blueprint too I should have been running the hatch over there immediately jeez have you had your channels um, let's see. So the one that I'm using now <clears throat> as Sojourner Kai, I started, I first uploaded on in 2017, I think. Is that right? Yeah, 2017. The first video I uploaded to the Sojourner Kai channel was a song that I made in like FL Studio uh, using a bunch of samples. That was a lot of fun. And the then the channel like became like a commentary channel kind of for a bit as I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it for a while. Then I made this video that was talking about, oh, League of Legends sucks ass. And everyone's like, yeah, League of Legends does suck ass. <laughs> um, and that video exploded. Like, I'm, I'm talking now like, oh yeah, a couple thousand views on stuff, but this video I, I made out of frustration with League of Legends, it now sits at close to 800,000 views. So, a lot of my initial audience and the reason why I even know anybody in the content creation sphere was because of that video. Um, and I've it's since like unlisted it. You can find it if you look through my playlists. But I've unlisted it because it just... I don't want people to be like, Oh, what other content has this person made? And then they go to my channel and it's like... This really negative 8 minute video about League of Legends. It just didn't seem right to keep it. You had any strikes will take that with the algorithm? I don't think I've ever had any copyright. I've had copyright claims before. Because of... Some clips that I used for the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure video that I made. But... Never had any issue with it otherwise. Oh wait, why am I why am I leveling Nemesis? As I felt like it, I guess. Um a little slinger though. Yeah, I haven't had any strikes. I've only had claims on and errant claims on my videos too. <laughs> There's this one time where I made a video with my friend Moonwalker. He and I reviewed like in tandem this one movie called allegiance of powers terrible movie one of the worst rated movies of all time on imdb um and no basically nobody's seen it but 
he was like, yeah, my dad has a penchant for finding bad movies at uh, Aldi's. And so he took, or yeah. And so he picked up the DVD off the shelf and took it home and we have to talk about it. And so we made this video talking about this movie. And for some reason, some like distri distribution company in India claimed the video. And I, I sent out a, a reply to that copyright claim saying like, dude, you can clearly see that this video is is criticizing the movie. I don't know why you would ever claim <laughs> this review, but it's clear that I, I fall under fair use because I am using clips to give context to something that I am reviewing. And now I just get around the content ID system by mirroring all the clips, so. It can affect the way it does things. That makes sense, yeah. Demonetizations for like not following guidelines and stuff. That's why I'm super careful to censor my language too in my videos. I just don't want to take any chances. And also, if I ever end up showing my content to, you know, a family member, that sort of thing, I don't want them to see me cussing up a storm all the time. <laughs> Even though, I, I mean, obviously, people who have been here know that I curse a lot. Oh, that's easy to do. I want to do a Starstruck build. Do I have? I'm actually in love with Starstruck right now. Oh, but I don't have agitation, so that'd be difficult. All right, whatever. We'll just we'll just send it as is. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Right, right. And there's also the whole thing about how advertisers are stingy about the content that they put their advertis advertisements on. Because they um, are like, oh, what's the... They don't want to associate themselves with an indie content creator because indie creators who are unproven in the YouTube space have a higher, or like a higher risk, right? So let's say that I have some content that is objectionable and uh, like awful in, in any number of ways, which people can be quite awful. And YouTube doesn't, demonetize that video for things that I've said and the advertiser's like well this indie content creator we had no idea was going to be saying these things and it's on YouTube's fault for putting our product and therefore paying this person and endorsing them it's it's weird um but then because like those extreme examples exist then it goes to all examples like well if they curse at all then that's that's bad because it's not professional to curse you know but i guess like in in business meetings you don't want to be cursing a lot but i don't think i've ever been in a job where my coworkers managers or everything were foul, were not foul mouthed like, I've never been in a job that has people who are, you know, keep it clean the whole way through, like, G-rated, you know? Every single one, unless they were acting with some third party, uh, always, always has has had some sort of foul mouth to them. Someone's gonna open a chest in here? Cold Tower. Someone was opening a chest here. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know if I heard them. Oh. I heard, I heard you. Did you? I think they vaulted the window upstairs. I think they were still upstairs there. Okay, whatever. I gotta go for gens now. Like this one. Who's here? I think they're in this tile. Somewhere. 
Oh, there you are. I see you. Or oh, whatever. Uh, we'll go for this person. Boy. That is mad annoying, actually. That person left, and the, I can't shoot this person over top of this uh, barrier. They just have a perfect read on me because my character's so damn tall. Okay, fair enough. We'll take the we'll take the pallet here. I get in trouble at work for foul language. I guess that's also like if you're you're working with customers quite frequently though, right? Mm, yeah, I cut that too close. Unlucky. I think I just lose this match honestly, but that's okay. We we are bound to lose one eventually. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. She's just W King. I thought she was gonna play that palette more. There we go. Little backflip action. We'll carry you further into the map too, because uh, I want to be closer to the action here. Damn, that sucks. Oof. I mean, that was the one that we kicked. Oh, I see that person too. That was the one that we kicked way out here too. Oh, there they are. You get that. <clears throat> Tur make him turn around behind me so that they uh, can't keep the distance there. Medium vault, Lamau. XD, Lamau. Hello there, Leon. Or, no, that's... Oh, that is Leon. Just has a skin that makes him look like Felix. There we go. <clears throat> Let me go pick up the uh, Zarina. There's a hook right here, which is great for me. And there's a Scourge hook outside, which is good for the Leon. Exactly what I need. I really want to that it happens because mmm -hmm, bonk. <laughs> eh. I think it's a silly thing to get upset over. But there's the um, the movie A Christmas Story, right? And there's the point where Ralph, like the main kid, says fuck, right? And everyone just freaks out about it all around him. We're upstairs. She's upstairs. The person that rescued her went out the window there. Oh, hello, Cheryl. It's actually it's a change of plans for me. Don't greet the pallet. Just pre drop it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, and like everyone makes a big deal about it. And I just find it really funny, you know, because it's. Who cares? It's a word, right? What are you going for? Shack window. Yes, you are. Come over here. <laughs> That's something funny you can do with this killer. Is you can hit people through windows. And into basement with you. Or it might be... No, we're just going to go to basement. I think it might be better. Mm -mm -mm. We'll even back hook it. <laughs> Back up here. Still regressing, so the Jill is not picking that up. Oh, she's here on my right. Oh, yeah. We saw the crow go up there, and I heard the footsteps briefly. We go up here. This little bird's eye view. Hello, Jill. I mean, that does give her the space to go for the unhook here, but uh, now we get a one-for-one one trade. That's pretty guaranteed now. Damn it, it was like, watch your language miss, and I just... Oh, what the hell. You did you did body block for this person? That's tragic, actually. I should bring a Mori one of these days. Yeah. That's really funny, though. Like, damn is such a... 
<laughs> innocuous curse word. Like, it's it's nothing. Right, I gotta go back for these gens, because... Eh, do I, though? I mean, do I really? Oh, I see you. Cheryl. Nice. Well played, well played, well played. Cheryl? Fuck. <laughs> gotcha. Got him with a little bit of the moon. Ooh, the D-Strike. Very nice. Uh, you have to drop this. Yep. There we go. Come with me. Down you go. The sadistic killer line is on point. What up, fell? <laughs> I guess it is, huh? It's not the worst I've said back there. I mean, like, yeah, it's like I said, it's such a... I don't know, it's like a curse or they just, no, it's whatever. You hear that in Star Wars, even. <laughs> How's it going, Fel? Welcome, welcome. Hey, what up, gamer? Pecunia and a party of six whole raiders have joined the caravan. Thank you so much for sending six people. How y'all doing? Doing all right? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, if I can bring some entertainment or uh, calming vibes on this wonderful evening. Howdy, gamer. Hello, hello, Sorcerer Mercy. Hello, Pecunia. Hello, hello. As you can see, we are... Oh, hello, Leon. We're playing Dead by Daylight, and uh, I do seem to be running into some pretty interesting gamers this time around. <laughs> they just... It's the dead hard? That was the weirdest... I should have just waited it out, huh? Because I can just hit that shot. If you're existing for your latest video, five stop by. Well, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Hope you. Uh, I, I'm sorry that the. Uh, I know the video is not exactly like the greatest topic, but uh, thanks for dropping by and checking out the video and stuff too. I put work into that. I appreciate it greatly. A bird dating sim. How a a bird dating sim. How does how does one play a bird dating sim? How does that work? Yeah, for anyone who's new around here, I'm Kai. I uh, play video games. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight lately, and Deathslinger is my favorite killer. Romancing a secret agent bird. Ah, I see, I see. Are we a little moonwalk there? So the reason, I'll, I'll tell you why I do the moonwalk there, chat, uh, for people who might be new to Dead by Daylight. Um... The killer has this kind of like red cone that's always right in front of them that shows where their hitbox is. So if you're inside of that red cone, you're guaranteed to get hit from like a close melee attack, right? But of course, that red cone is always visible to the survivors. So you can you can see the killer coming around corners before they actually clear the corner. So if I do this and moonwalk a bit, they don't see my red light coming around the back of that rock. Right, there you are, Cheryl. To play Hot of a Boyfriend. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> I've heard it's good. I've I've heard it is very, very good. An ADS there just to scare her a little bit. She doesn't go for the window. She knows better. Ah, damn. Okay. Kept holding W. Hug the wall there. We get this pretty freely. She does pre-drop it, so that's fine. We'll get stunned here. Doesn't matter, though. Take the damage state. She vaults back over it, though? Okay, whatever. Kick this. We do have no way out, and we still have one stack of um, uh, pain res. I've been losing track of where these people are. Uh, I gotta check this gen, unfortunately. Like, I'm so split up. I think... Oh, boy. Okay, no progress on that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Ah, oh, it was that one? Frick, man. Where are my gates? One there, one there. Oh, Le hello, Jill. What are you doing here? Jill's dead, by the way. If I can get her. Ah, shit. Okay. I thought she would continue to the right, and I aim, like, way too high. That one. Okay. This TNL wall is going to be tough to play around. Mm 
Hmm. Oh, it's... Oh, I see. There's two windows. Okay. That sucks. <clears throat> mm. Takes the vault. Huge. Actually, I get it right now. I do a little spin. I take you to basement, and I think you're dead. I think everyone else gets out, but that's okay. It was a pretty close game. Otherwise... GG's, fellas. GG's, GG's. It's that gate all the way out there, too. So the no way out doesn't save me from losing this endgame. If I can hit the Cheryl, I think I kill her, too. But, because everyone's on death hook, you know. We do be nine hook staging. Or, uh, yeah, full hook staging people here. Wait, what the fuck? Cheryl is here, though. She's close. Uh, she's there, I guess? Uh, we gotta go back. Because it's possible that the other serves are here too. Yep. Got it. Well played. And Leon opened the other gate too. Fuck. Okay. Well. I did the spin. Yeah. It's a bad habit. <laughs> bad habit of mine. Not like this does much though. It just actually lets her get more distance from me. <clears throat> But GG's, gamer. GG's. GG's, GG's. Well played. I do, I do do a little spin sometimes whenever I, uh... And what I know, it's like a guaranteed hit. But they play that well. GG's. What do they have? Windows, yeah. <laughs> Blast mine, but I don't like kick a single gen. It's kind of funny. Adren distortion. Off the record. Two adrenalines. Sprint burst. Two sprint bursts, right? No. But the D strike. The D strike with no other perks is kind of interesting, though. But. He moves so fast in that field. Yeah. It's almost like a. It almost looks like a. Tr a treadmill, really. Like, the field is, like, moving faster than his feet are at. <laughs> Looks like his feet are moving. But it could just be he just takes big strides, you know? Let me grab that. We grab... Wow, we get more blood points. Crazy. The challenge selected. We can fix that. Ooh, that is tough to do, but we can try it. Spear 2 survivors who are repairing or healing with the Redeemer as the Death Slinger. Let's see, let's see. Hey, we have like little lore bits here. <clears throat> Reach the, the killers. Mm. He should have assless chap since he'd be a cowboy. <laughs> me the 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 cowboy he may be a bounty hunter but he's got to look fly for all the other bounty hunters <laughs> just putting a little bit of points into into the death slinger because um you know you play games with them you lose your collection of stuff so i want to make sure i can get some of that back photo the rest Hmm. Bamboozle Corlophobia. Then we'll purchase the rest. Alright. Hmm. Could go back to playing Trapper too. Because <laughs> we were playing him earlier. With this build too. Because we didn't play this. Because we had the challenge for Death Slinger that I saw. Hmm. Billy. These are all survivor challenges, too. Hmm. 
it's doable with some perks. This is like a actually tough mechanical challenge. We're gonna go. We're gonna go do a different challenge from all these other ones here. Hook eight different survivors. That's doable for now. Let's run it. A little brutal strength. Pop goes the weasel. Discordance to tell us where people are. Get him off of Jen's corrupt intervention to give us some time to set up. Shouldn't be good, but it could be bad. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I'm too sexy, yeah. <laughs> He is. He is a complete narcissist. That is just. That is his lore. Oof, spelling. No, it's un it's all right. I understand. <laughs> Blood points for everyone. I wasn't able to play this game for like the last four days and over the last four days they had a, an event where you get one and a half times blood points and I missed out on it the trickster is sexy though yeah he is meant to be just a k-pop star you know oof how much do you like the color red fellas me personally not that big a fan but here we are in red the map <laughs> Uh, that isn't anything. And I should start setting up. I didn't say they weren't. <laughs> so, you know, that's a good point. I put this here. Because you never know. Random ass traps in bushes. Might just get somebody. I am in the corner of the map. For this gen for me. Ah, discordance. Working as intended. Uh. Drop the pallet cage. Heck yeah. Excellent. This is a good start. I didn't say they were. Amen. <laughs> Amen to that. Okay. We like to play. Uh, I'm going to set a trap here just, you know, in case anybody runs through the center of it. Hello. Hola. It was like seeing if she would try to spin or something. That's why I wait on those hits. Drops it. Oh, okay. Doesn't take the ball. I was expecting it, but she didn't take it. Whoop. Okay. We kick it. We have real strengths. We have. We can kick these things faster anyway. Oh, ah, that's unfortunate. Ran right into a. Uh, well, nothing really. All right. We go back to that gen. Oh, we have Pop goes the weasel. Hello. Hello, my friend. Oh, my mirror's gonna kick this real quick. I need to find, like, a good spot to put these traps down here. But it feels like they keep running out this way, so I don't know. But, like, warmers didn't warm her legs up enough. Ah, true! She wasn't ready. She, you know, had, like, a cr little bit of a, a leg cramp halfway through. Dude, this Gordon's is putting in so much work. For me, this game, it's actually kind of nuts. Hello! I want your friend. Where is your friend? Ooh, I didn't get that? Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Kicking that. Where is the other person that was here? So I got the... Discordance notification, but I don't see them here. Are you here? Weird. Oh. No, oh, that's that's just a dead guy. <laughs> that's just that's just <clears throat> general decor. That's still regressing too. We know that there's a person back there, but I gotta check this gen now. That's a pretty decent progress on it. Hello, Megan. I I am begging your your pardon. What in the world? <clears throat> I am offended by that, all right? I, I should have put that on the outside, though. Uh, 
we'll put this here. Because she'll, she might got a trolley horse running. Yeah, exactly. Like cramped up halfway through the run. Eh, main building, schmain building. We also saw a crow go up over here. So. Mm -mm. No, no, no. None of that. Sorry that time. He might have been hiding in the bush before. I just didn't see him because, you know. That was... Well, that was unfortunate. Up oh, you go. <clears throat> we go back and kick that generator now. Very good, very good. There's some decent progress on it, so I'm happy with kicking it. Bonk, bonk. Hello. Oh, I see you, gamer. I'm gonna try and corral you. I can in the right direction here. Nope. Went, went the wrong way. I have a trap over there on my right, but not able to put her in the right spot there. Yeah, you're. What? That hit. That. I'm surprised that blinded me. That was a good flashbang. That was a damn good flashbang. What the hell? Alright then. Hit this. The look of offense and disbelief are just amazing, yeah. <laughs> like, what? Huh? You freaking what, mate? Uh, which one? Oh, that one? Okay, they're going for the unhook then. Here I come. It's Evan. Because that's... This killer's real name is Evan. <laughs> I do need, uh, like, gloves or something on this build. So I feel like I take so long trying to set up traps. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's good. That's some good progress. Oi. Run into a wolf. Excuse me? You don't boil over? You're not allowed to be struggling that well? What the heck? Alright, let's go find a generator to kick. <clears throat> this one. This one is being worked on actively as well. I'm gonna kick it now. I'm gonna kick this too. I'll let her go to all from my right. It's fine by me. She probably... Oh, she doesn't have windows. She didn't see that uh, window that she has there. Nice try, nice try. Uh, up you go. You crawl in the spot and they got a small pool of cool <laughs> cherry Kool-Aid? Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I'm telling you right now. Oh, wait, I'm going to kick this pallet too. Earlier, because we do have that ability. Um, also going to put a trap on this window. So that it can't be used again. At least not until... I say so. Hello, Cage. I'm gonna kick your gen. Oh. That is just tragic. Come here, you. Oh, well, he knows about this one. But will he know about this one? Hmm? Also found out that you get like a second of immunity walking through your traps at the when it's like initiated <clears throat> but you don't have permanent immunity it's just like a second of a like a hitbox kind of thing oh that's where we are huh hello como estas you can't use that window you can't use that window gamer <laughs> let's freaking go Up you go. And away. <laughs> Alright, kick this. Grab this. Then, the bonus thing we do, boom, we set a trap back. Uh, actually, we have to set it a little bit further back. 
Because I don't think that they, when they vault, if they're, if they do a running vault, they, uh, my left, grab this. But if they do a running vault, they clear the base of the, uh, generator slightly. Someone was just here. It's Meg. Hello, Meg. And a nice little M1 there. I was expecting a dead hard, but no dead hard. In fact, it's just just dead. There will be no hardness in no. We're gonna we're gonna move on from that one. We're gonna we're just gonna move on. We're gonna kick this gen, and we will go back to this gen over here because I think that Cage knows about this one. Apparently not. There's some work being done in this one. The markings on the ground deleted people. Oh yes. Um. So whenever a survivor sprints, they leave behind like the those multiple red marks on like walls and floors and stuff around them, and those are well scratch marks because they just look like like they've been scratched into the wall and stuff like that, right? And, uh, those scratch marks, then yes, they do lead me to people. They last for a total of seven seconds. And see, so yeah, I can see, like, I have them on the where I'm not the late to the raid. You are. Oh, you know what? We, we, uh, we, we love late raiders here, you know, because then that means that you still value the time that you have here. Did not go for that pallet, by the way. I even dropped the vault here. Yeah. No balance landing. <laughs> Got down in the prime of his life, Nicholas Cage. Fashionably late, exactly. Viz is just a wizard. He arrives exactly when he means to. There's a weird audio cue. Oh, and I know where the other person is now. <laughs> Another thing is that I um, I mention sometimes, Rainy, that <clears throat> still goes into the information gathering part of this game, is that I will say, oh, I see a crow over there. As you might notice, there are a lot of uh, crows, like this one over here that just settled down, uh, that whenever I walk by them, or whenever a survivor goes by them at, a, at an, a, uh, an increased speed, um they like when they're sprinting by them or if they walk by them even while standing up if they're not crouching um then the crow will be disturbed and so it'll be like a visual indicator in the sky basically when they go off yes yes exactly no i'm i'm a huge fan of corvids specifically um it's it's not at all it's not even remotely related to the game. I just wanted to talk about crows. And I'm like, oh, look, it was the... <laughs> you know what? This art style, the reason why I played Dead by Daylight is because of the crows. But yeah. The, uh, the crows are a visual indicator for me. And so that's sometimes why I'll say like, oh, there's a crow that went up over there. Because that means that there's a survivor walking around there. I wonder where this... Oh, there it is. Bonk. And uh, at the end of the game as well, if there's only one survivor left, uh, there is what you've seen me kick close there, a hatch. And that hatch uh, guarantees escape for the survivor that jumps through it, but they have to be the last one alive. Hope that helps. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It do. Oh, wait. You're just in there. I ran into her by mistake because I didn't see her ass. <laughs> That's really funny. Anyway, she's dead. GG's, Meg. That was really unfortunate. <laughs> I, I ran into her. I was like, oh wait, this shouldn't have obstruction. I just saw the top of her head was the a different color from the uh, from the uh, bush there. Anyway, GG's. Another 12-4-4. Four of the trapper. Um... 
Wee. A little, I do a little spin. Let me grab my Reggie here. Ben's remaining. I think it was two, twelve, four, four. Opera singer. Yeah, decimated Borgo. Mm -hmm. right. No nuts. No nuts. Absolutely zero nuts. She is. She is quite the opera singer, isn't she? <laughs> Really gets really hits those high notes. Uh, fastening tools. Wait, that's a really good add-on. Wait, why haven't I been running that? What? It's really strange, but um, add-ons is another thing I don't think I've explained either, Rainy. Um, but maybe. I don't know if that over that's over explaining either. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. We'll make sure for wrap. Playing DVD with audio from another game is a fun extra challenge. It so is. <laughs> it yeah. Makes you know, you just play, or you listen to, like, some... I mean, I play Rainbow Six quite a bit, too. You play some Rainbow Six on a second monitor and then listen to DVD in the background. It's perfect. It's exactly what you've always needed. I think this will be good. Fastening tools and trapper bag sounds pretty decent. That was fun. Having brutal strength actually feels like it helped out a lot. Is, uh... I was just able to clear pallets so much more quickly. Turning around to see the notification, we realize your match. Yeah, <laughs> like oh right, oh never mind, it's them playing. Yeah, like extra items in a way. It's kind of like that, right? So um, every killer, of course, has a power, and add-ons are augmentations to that power that you can unlock. And every, every add-on does something slightly different. So for the ones that I have here, I can carry an extra trap and I start with an extra trap in my pockets. And then this one increases the speed that I set traps and also increases the time that other survivors have to take, take to get out of traps. And so they all have different effects with the ones that are pink. They're, they're organized by rarity and typically speaking, the higher rarity ones are the better ones. But not always. There are some killers in this game where the add-on that they have makes literally zero sense for the killer. So for example, we have Nemesis, right? Or maybe not Nemesis. Uh, we'll do Deathslinger because I know Deathslinger a little bit better. But if we go to our add-ons, right, we have the Iridescent Coin, which you saw me use earlier, which means that if I shoot somebody from a long distance away, I down them immediately when I hit them with my basic attack. His other pink add-on, though, is that whenever you have a survivor on the chain, you lose your terror radius, which is that, like, audio indicator I was telling about earlier that tells you where survivor, or that tells survivors where you are, right? But the problem with that, the problem with that is that when you've shot and are hooking and reeling in a survivor, they probably already know you're there. <laughs> Just just, just going off of like a, a general statement. If someone, if you are reeling somebody in, they probably, you, they probably already know you're there. So this, this, uh, this effect is like a total meme effect, but because it's pink, it's said to be like, oh, it's an ultra rare. It's one of his best add-ons that you can run. When realistically, this green add-on is probably one of his best and this purple one's one of his best. And even then, I'm going to nerf myself further. I'm going to do these two browns. Brown is like the, the common rarity. They're not very effective. Ooh, enjoy deep rocks, Fel. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate you. Take care. Are we streaming when I get back? Maybe. I don't think I'll be streaming for too much longer because um, I do get tired out pretty quickly from talking so much. Still got to get my, my streaming endurance up and I got some work stuff to do tonight. But shouldn't be... I'll be streaming again very soon. Like, I've been streaming pretty regularly when I have the chance to. 
So maybe even be streaming tomorrow, maybe streaming Thursday. Definitely by Thursday. So if you just check check in in the evenings, I might be here. And if and if I don't see you, take care. Enjoy enjoy rock and stone. Rock and stone. Let's play some artist. Let's do this. Why not? Why not play artiste? This is a really funny build that I had. <laughs> um, so the idea is I was just like trying to inflict as many status effects on people as I could. And then play around scourge hooks by forcing people to making it difficult for people to find their their allies by being blinded. That was the idea that I had, but I should be playing this with um like the third seal or something like that, you know. What about Wraith? What do I have for Wraith? Mm. I mean I have all I have corrupt pain res DMS. <laughs> Technically, I don't even need Sloppy Butcher either. Put some Wraith. Offering? Oh yeah, so that's like another added thing. Um, but they don't influence your power at all. Uh, your offerings will change different, I guess, states of the map instead. So, for example, we can have ones that send us to specific maps. Be like, okay, so I want to have an offering that sends me to the Nostromo Wreckage, so I go to that map specifically. There are also add-ons that, I mean, there are, are offerings that increase or decrease the distance between hooks. There's one that increase the Dark Mist. So they're like not quite as great. This one prevents two chests from appearing. The one with the skull means that I can just straight up kill survivors instead of having to hook them. Um, but it's like after I've hooked them twice. Uh, and then there's also other ones that say, when I take this offering, um, I get more blood points when, whenever this specific parameter is cleared. So for this, I have to sacrifice survivors to get bonus blood points. But when I do do that, I get more blood points at the end of the game. So it just makes it so that I can spend more here, which is like your skill tree kind of thing that you've seen me pull up many times. And it gives me offerings and, and add-ons and... Uh, perks from other killers as well if I haven't had them fully unlocked. Chest, they hold things for the survivors? Yes. So chest, uh, survivors can take a few seconds to search chest and then it'll hold a random item. Uh, it can be a flashlight, a toolbox, or a med kit. Or a map. map a, a map is another potential item you can get out of chests. Okay, what's up? What is this? What do you mean? What did I do? What happened? <laughs> Explain? Listen, that's just Kirby got hit with like a a milk water balloon. That's all. That was also like uh, an emote that a friend of mine recommended they added. Or using my likeness without my permission. I wasn't the one who uploaded the emote. That was that was the person on Seven TV. You'll have to take it. You'll have to take up your grievances with them. <laughs> Oh, man. Sorry, I was I was just checking DMs with it there for a second. Whew. Oh, boy. We've been doing pretty... We've been doing really good with Trapper lately. But I'm like, I'm worried now. Now that I've been doing well with Trapper, the game is like... Aha, so you're good with Trapper. We should be putting your MMR higher. I was like, no, the survivors I've been running into have not been... They've not been the most coordinated, and they've not been the most experienced. And because of that, I'm able to capitalize on their mistakes more easily. But, uh... Could play Plague? Hmm. Do I want to play Plague? Really? I like Artist a lot more. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's a funny artist build we can do? I like this one. This one's really funny. So I feel about League. Yeah, yeah. I think League also takes into account your 
uh, overall account level, which is really annoying. So that's also a pain in the ass. Okay, I think we should take the nest off and add... Hmm. Tar. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, like uh, Nicky Boy, for example, he's close to level 800 on League right now. And he has never... He When he played ranked, he got to platinum at his, as his highest rank. But that was when I first met him maybe five years ago now. And now he... um. He doesn't play ranked hardly at all, unless he's, like, getting the gold. But he will consistently play against Masters players. <laughs> and that's... He's like, man... I, w I wish I wasn't playing against people who were in the top 1% of, of League players. Top 0.5% of League players. It's literally me? Yeah, okay, so you understand. You totally relate to that. I mean, even for myself, like, level 366, haven't played the game at all recently. You put it against a Grandmaster Jungler? Jeez, Luis. Maybe they were queued with somebody then. I have no idea. That is mad annoying. <laughs> we put against that. This should be good. Masha Shrine might throw them off a little bit. Thick tar to keep the crows on them a little bit longer, too. Because they played super bad? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I've I've beaten players with higher elo than me, too. Yeah. Enough league talk. It's cold. It is cold in my room, too. The game's gone. I've been hardcore lurking. They've been going well, actually. Aside from the trickster game that we played earlier, um, they've been going quite well, actually. We've been playing various killers here and there. I've been playing Trapper the most, I think, today. But uh, according to some people in the Dead by Daylight community getting three kills or more in a game is considered a win for the killer because it's, you know, over half they've claimed three of the four victims in the game. And if we're going off of that parameter, I currently have a six-game win streak on Trapper. So that's pretty good. They, we also had one game on Slinger where everyone played super well. And I I lost by... Some pretty thin margins, but not too bad. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been doing great. A win is if you're having fun. I'm having a good time. I think I always have a good time with Death Slinger, even though I'm like, ah, we're, we're, we're losing this match. Everything's going terrible. Um, I don't feel too genuinely terrible after the fact. Like, I still, I still think that if I lose, it's because people are playing well. And if I win, it's because I'm playing well, you know? Yeah, it's really not too much more you can do about that, you know? Yeet bird. Oh, nice spin. Nicely spun. Alright, we'll go for the Talita, because she is the closest one to me. Put that there. Oh, she left this way. Got it, got it, understood, got it. We should be able to hit this, actually. If her mind. I can go through that. She goes through that window. Life? Maybe. Not twice, though. Oh, we go for this. Someone here. Yep. Yeah, this is my generator. 
Get that out of here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hello, Caitlin. Slow vaults in that, so I gotta go back for this now. This Fong is over here for some reason. Why are you here? A nice hit there. It's great for me. They really want to get this generator completed, but thankfully, gen tapping, a thing of the past. I see you, Ada. Ada Wong from Evil Residence. Ah, uh, shit, that might not hit. Goes into the locker there. Damn, okay, so there's no way out there. Everyone's injured, so this is good for me. Swing through! Damn it! Okay. We tried. Oh, she didn't take the window. No! Oh, well. Oh, she got in the way of that. That's really unfortunate for me. Come on! There we go! Finally got it down. Holy smokes. Pick this up. My Iron Grasp versus your... That hit me? I'm... Excuse me, I'm all the way over here! Okay, I, I guess. What the hell? Hitbox more pregnant than a fucking... Okay, whatever. Yeah, you don't have a way to unhook... Oh my god, I'm getting bully squad. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, fuck it, I'm slugging. Two people running Iron Grasp, getting hit with the... Oh, of course, I have to break this. That's so sad. Flabbergast, that one made no sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how that even hits, like, ever. Oh, well. Fucking kill me, dude. I swear to Grimbus. Put you up there. And we gotta kick this too, because this one's also had some decent work done on it, but possible that they're working on these over here too. So we gotta go look for them. That one. Okay. We hit the Kate, who is still injured, by the way, which is good for me. We hit that. A little bit of a snipe off there. Oh, and there's someone working on that actively. Never mind. I think they're healing under hook too. In Revenus. Really, they're not. Hola. There's two of you here anyway. You know that because of uh, discordance. Not gonna take that. Drops down. Girl, you gotta go back. You gotta get ready, old birds. Because they're gonna come in and fly and hit you. Why are you here, Ada? The fuck? Hmm. Goes off to the right there. Alright, she's leading me to someone, though. So that's good. Cool. I see you two jokers here. Two. So that's pretty good for me. Get a nice M1 here. Takes the window. Eight's going for the rescue. For the pickup, rather. You went over there. I can hear you back here. 
What? Excu fucking excuse me? What? Do you have off the record? Anyway, I'm just gonna slug this. I don't really care because they have three people in the area. <clears throat> Go back here because they just picked up the phone. Get the Ada because she has she's the one with the flashlight here. What the hell? Hit boxes are a joke. I don't know if the Ada has a flashlight, and I don't think I care to notice either. saw the light green moss on that and I thought oh that's uh, the Talita because the Talita has a very bright yellow outfit on hello Caitlin yeah yeet. no way you dead hard that perfectly all right whatever I'm going back we gotta be a friend is on this generator anyway. Falling away. We get this now though. Pick that person up. Most likely going for that gen now. Nope. Oh, they're near it though. They're healing. Under uh, under hook. Going out this way. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? Yeah, whatever. Boop, 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 boop. Take the M1 there. I don't know how the... There was the Kate that she, like, vaulted through the window. And... Got... Ah, I shouldn't have. Alright, we gotta go for one of these gens back here now, I think. Oh, they're healing. Why are you all healing here? Oh, and Fong's here. What the hell? Found the weak link, I guess. Alright. Slugs for days. Go for the Talita. Use another weak link here. Mm -mm -mm. I see Ada back here. I'm gonna go for her. Because she's picking up the Talita now. Or she would be. She wasn't over here. Yeah. Go back. Okay, they got everyone up. That's fine. But this means that I have so much pressure on this game now, right? By oh, yeah, being able to hit these people. If I can get the Ada and the Kate separated, I'll be okay. But the problem is that, you know, doing that specifically, right? Uh, I thought she would read it or uh, sit on it there. Oh, uh, the problem is that I'm a tall person. Yeah, kick this. Coming after you. Got you by echolocation. Yeah. Okay. Back for these gens here. Uh, I can't hit that one either, which sucks, but it is the reality of the situation. It again close but no cigarillo yeah I figured damn dude all right I mean I'm glad that I've been slugging this game because it's just wasting their time as much as it's wasting mine got it with the lunge and now I face a wall and you can't blind me from here Bye-bye. And they're healing over here? What? Yeah. Check that gem. Oh, we hit someone there by mistake. Ah, I can't hit that, though. Because of elevation differences. 
Uh, uh, being pulled away from a gen. I don't think no one's on that. I should just let that bird expire. <clears throat> Oh well. Yeah, I was ready to come back here. Talia is dead too. On hook. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No life. That's good. Goes for it again. Pre drops it. Doesn't fall back over, so we get her now. Alright. Thank goodness I know the distance of lunges on that. Uh, we're gonna crack this too, because I don't wanna deal with this anymore. <clears throat> Pretty sure the Kate's over on this generator behind me, so I'm gonna face this way. Put you on the hook immediately and send you. Bye bye. Oh wait, I thought she was dead. <laughs> I thought she was death hook, but clearly not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna kick this. Nice. Mm, unlucky. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah, uh, damn. Almost body blocked it, but not close enough. Alright, away we go. Get the phone down as well. I'm like sitting so straight up in my chair here. <laughs> Kate's back there too. I just see her. No way they got her up that quickly though. Oh wait. Oh, that was just the bamboo I was running into. Right, she's going to go pick up the bong now. So splitting their resources, getting this person on a hook, get him out of here. I had to play this I had to play this like so greedily because of um because of the like triple flashlight or the double flashlight gamers. <clears throat> but she's a ways away from the uh eight here, so and take a left, please. Close enough. Yeah, yeah. Into the corner we go. I'm slowing myself down doing that. <clears throat> ah, if they have a Dren, I'm kind of fucked, hey? I have to go for this. And check if uh, Kate's on it. She is, okay. Yep. I was right. You come back to this person. Take into a corner. Yeah. If I hit her, I hit her. I don't, and I whiff entirely. We gotta kick this, though. Just regress it. And phone could also be on a generator on this backside, especially in main, because that's where he left her. Mm. Results are inconclusive. Still inconclusive. They might be in a corner resetting too. No idea. Mm. 
Mm, got it. That's her downed. Damn. Yep, I got her. <clears throat> On the gen, at least. So that's good. I can go pick that person up, ideally. Click back this way. Somewhere. The fuck did I down her? Well, I downed her way a ways away, but... Didn't have adrenaline, either. I have literally no idea where I downed this person. Because they completed this generator, and then... What? Where are they? I don't hear him, either. Fong is a loud survivor, by the way. I definitely want to hear her. Oh, there she is. Hello. Mm hmm. She gets that open. Get the heck. Get the heck out of here. GG's. Oh, yeah. I, ha I had to play that the way that I did because of having two flashlights head on, two people, two different people with Iron Grasp, one of them which had a flashlight as well, or sorry, uh, boil over and everything, while also running like a couple of meme perks. If I'm, if I'm really saying like, oh, I should be considering meta and stuff, I just, I couldn't pick anybody up because they would crawl under pallets. Ugh, it was stressful, man. But we got it. We 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 still got the three K at the end. Stressful, stressful. But they played well. Like no no flame to them. It was just a stressful match for me. <laughs> Hit three survivors with hatchets as the huntress. I guess we're playing huntress now. Where are you? Uh, we should put our points into Trapper, though. Hello, Hag. He's over in the game. Why you have to be stressed? Oh, you know. I want to do well. I want to win. It's like, it's okay. It's just a game. It's like, yes, but also, I've trained for this game. I should be better. I should be getting good results. You know? Has a long body when running. Yeah, her body is just like... He has, like, a longer neck because she's supposed to be kind of bird-like. That's just her whole thing. Slow be boocher. Mori. Take no way out. Three. There we go. Yeah, it's just part of her design. Here, I can show you. If you look closely. There we go. Look, like she has a really long neck. And and bird toes. It kind of moves her head like a bird would. It's just her, it's her thing, you know. You just kind of got to let her do her thing. Hello, Huntress. Um, survivor pudding. Supposedly, every killer that you play also has, has to have a different MMR, but I don't know how much I I, tr I trust that information. What's my favorite schnoz doing today? I'm do I'm doing great, Noble. How how are you doing, gamer? Welcome on in. We're doing good. Um, went out today. The biggest thing that I did today was, I mean, aside from like regular class stuff was I went out and I dropped off a bunch of old clothes that I no longer wear at Goodwill and uh Liberty Incarnate I've been here since I got home <laughs> fair enough I mean that does make sense with the the schnoz reference I was like oh I caught my nose on that palette earlier it must be a big nose I start, I, I 
round a corner and my nose clears the corner a whole foot before the rest of me does. I'm excited for the changes coming to this killer too. They're making it so that she has just slightly better wind-up speed and also carries seven hatchets at base, which is kind of nuts. I'm going to lose my mind. Ivory of Crows, brother. That is not good for me. Not a good map. Liberty incarnate. Spoken like a true American. Also, oh, you probably, you probably saw me talk about this, but I got... I got this gamer sup slaver in the mail over the weekend. Pretty good. HT and lemonade. Boy. Mm -mm -mm. This map is kind of hard to see on. There you are. Hello. Ah! That was very interesting. Decision. Oh, right by her. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think this was at all intentional. I'm going to cut her off going this way. Ta-da! So bright and wash out at the same time. Yeah, I think it's also because of, I know, don't tell anybody that I do this, but I have filters on. There's like a huge controversy in the Dead by Daylight community recently that was like, um, actually, if you use filters to make the game look better, you're cheating. Because it gives you like a visual advantage. And so everyone's like all up in arms about f filters. <laughs> Which I find to be a pretty funny thing to be all up in arms about. I need to break this because of this window. Oh. That's the Nia over there. Oh, he almost ran into it. That was, was a little overzealous, Mr. Wake. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, bonked my head and then bounced on the ground there. It's just going to a corner. No. Yeet. Pretty good snipe. If I do say so myself. Okay. Good to know. Where are my hatchet refills behavior? I would like to refill my hatchets. Or I only have one. Well, I mean, here's some, I guess. Hello. Hatchets? Yes. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, that's very good news for me. Yoink! Get off of there. <laughs> I yoinked her off of the generator, too, because it was like, yeah, we'll complete this in time. that. They're probably going out for the Allen now. That would be my guess. Hello, Megan. Oops. Just casually walking backwards. Who, who put no railing here, huh? Who designed this place? Oop, no balance landing. Cringe. Gotcha. <laughs> I 
I heard him over there and decided, yes, hatchet time. Hey, remember when I was super pessimistic like 30 seconds ago? Um, I think we're doing pretty good. I think we are doing quite well <laughs> this game. I feel bad though. Oh, this Alan's given up too. Into the corner you go. He's also dead on hook, so up you go. Goodbye. He was opening a chest because, uh... Oh, I hit the wrong person, Lamau. Oh, I didn't kite up that close enough, but that's okay. Nice little M1 here. Yoink! <laughs> and up you go. Whee! That's this is the most grabs that I've ever gotten in a game, by the way. I've never grabbed this many people. Which I know is like, you've never grabbed two people before? Yeah, honestly, I've not done that very often. Uh pick this. Yeah, and get a move on. They're healing somewhere. My guess is that the oh there. I saw the Nia. Hello, Nia. How doing? Oh, should have taken my time with it. Oh piss. I am the king of piss. Watch me as I Never mind, this is just getting gross. <laughs> Watch me as I unite people in urination. Oh my god! Alright. <laughs> Predicted. Got them snipes, baby. So long, Nia. Good games. Mm. That was a nice one? Thank you. Quite proud of it myself. I think the... Meg might be hiding. Just going off on a general feeling. She was doing a gen, brother. Oh no. Well, now I definitely know where you are, and you don't have time to pick up this Zarina. So good luck. May the best woman win. I got some really nice uh, earrings the other way, by the way. Or the other day, chat. It, uh, like these gold dangly ones. Very cute. Picked them up for like two bucks. <laughs> and they're, they haven't bothered my ears yet, but I can't wear them when they have headphones because they're big. They, well, I mean, big by my standards, I suppose. They're not like super dangly obnoxious, but uh, yeah, I can grab them after this game and show y'all on camera what they look like. A little bit of a go into my typical Dead by Daylight just chatting post game. Or post Dead by Daylight, uh, just chatting thing. But yeah, I'm not gonna say this Meg is something this Meg did. Well, particularly, I think she just uh, happened to have the luck of the draw. I also have like an incredible view of both of these gates here. Ooh, 180s. Mm, oh wait, did I see a red light there? I did. Cool. Oh, tree saved your ass. Yeet. Oh, okay. Target practice. Yeet. Oh, she didn't drop the pallet. <clears throat> oh, time to refill.
Also, there, the, if you listen to the music closely, hold on. Wait. It'll loop in a second here. <laughs> All right, GG's. Sorry, I was going to say there's like this thing where the music loops back on itself and it has a very audible like cut where it loops. Oh, GG's though. And it's uh quite funny because you would think that they would have, yeah, no mercy. Nah. I um, the, the Alan got to stage two and the Zarina died on hook while the Meg had the ability to save both of them. And instead she was just holding down left mouse button on a gen. So it might, that could like come down to just inexperience, right? But, um, I think that's also just not playing the whole game well. The Dead by Daylight does reward you with higher MMR by getting out through the exit gates, but you play on a team. You need to play the full team game with other people. So, uh, if I don't see survivors playing the team game well, or if they haven't, or if they've been, like, hiding the whole game, then I don't save them. I don't spare them. I spare them none. Increasing throne hatch speed is kind of funny. Yeah, well, let's put in a couple of points into Huntress and then we gotta go back to putting him into Trapper. Little blue dweb. Mm hmm. Flanklins. Gens remaining. 3, 12, 4, 4. Mm, no, 0. Experienced, maybe. She wouldn't have had time to... I don't, eh, no, she would have had time to open the gate. Never mind. What am I saying? I keep saying... I keep running into Irie of Crows as well. Or Eerie? 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 Is it Eerie of Crows? I keep running into Eerie of Crows and thinking, Oh, jeez, uh, man, there's the, there's the game. It's over. It's all over. And then every time I say that, I end up doing really well on the map. I have no idea why. Because it, sh it should not be favored towards killers. It is a historically more survivor side. Anyway, I gotta go grab those, uh, those earrings. Show y'all. One sec. All right, here you go. So those, there's the earrings. Ta-da! They're very, very dangly and sparkly. I don't know if my camera's, yeah, I actually got a uh, alt tab so I can see OBS here. I just have the stream chat open. Yeah, there they are. Those are the earrings that I got. I enjoy them quite a bit. And part of the reason why I went to Goodwill today was because I'm redoing my. They look nice, thank you. I thought they, I thought they look nice too. I like wearing them. They're very, they're very pretty. And part of the reason I went to Goodwill today is because I'm, I'm redoing my wardrobe. I'm getting some things that I actually want to wear. You know, crazy how I have that decision. <laughs> um, and hopefully, becoming more comfortable myself through that. Yeah. Pretty dang exciting. Oh, I did not mean to type there. Oh, yeah. Also, look, stream looks good today, too. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Hell yeah, I love that. Yeah. Trying to be more comfortable with who I am. Because I feel like the thing that I don't like about my wardrobe currently is that I feel like I've always been doing the bare minimum to make myself look good. 
And so I'd rather I'd rather dive more into things that I actually think look good on me. Instead of just being like, oh look, it's another hoodie. Or oh it's a t shirt and answer. If I go to this formal event, I should be wearing specifically these things. Like I want to have things that are actually me, you know. And that is something I'm doing this week on and off, depending on how stuff goes. Yeah. Pretty dang exciting. <laughs> we can run another trap a game. I'm gonna do the Starstruck build again. I think this one's funny. Uh, I'm gonna put the fastening tools on as well. Play. Also, if you guys have any outfit recommendations, hit me up. P pig completionist, that's interesting. All right. We shall run it. <laughs> Pig completion is same, to be honest. <laughs> is this like upset at the completionist or what is this? What is this? Oh, Pig completionist gaming. Oh, they have they have a they have a th they have a whole title for their name. Oh, he even has even has like their YouTube channel attached and everything. That's a pretty that's a pretty glitzed out. It's hard to read because of the background that they have. Cool. The only tragedy is that they're from Los Angeles. I think California could be a much more interesting state. If everyone didn't just live in the... I mean, it's it's hard to say, though, because... Um, if, if everyone didn't live in the metropolitan areas, California being a more interesting state, but also at the same time, like, California just has a perpetual water problem. Like, you go to L.A., San Francisco, Sacramento, all of that, because you're, uh, you're, you don't really have any other good wa water access out there. Like, all the aqueducts out there. And prime my eyes, I'll be using streaming day and night. Thank you, Rainy. I hope I hope your stuff goes well as well. And I hope that you can drop a shit, not a literal one, but you can curse in your work to place and no one will hear you. So may may you have freedom of speech in that regard. Take care. Shit in the warehouse. Be a rebel. I was watching this, um... It's a little, yeah. <laughs> I was watching this, um... Netflix series. I was trying to think of the right word. I was watching this Netflix series with my aunt the other day. Uh, when I was on my trip. And, uh... It was about... It's about this, like, it's called The Brothers Swoon, and it is a series that is about, I bet I can put one here, a assassin trained for the Taiwanese mafia who has to go to the United States to protect his extended family out there. It's, a uh, it was pretty interesting, but I, I bring it up because there was, like, a line in there where it's... Well, you should be, if you're a rebel, that's because you're going against the norms and people know about it. But if you're, oh, well, that's unfortunate. But if you're a, uh, if you're a rebel without telling anybody, you're just a liar then. That was pretty interesting. Hola. Sorry, Tubero. I, I thought that would catch somebody. No, just like me saying, 
Can you get your gear out of my face, man? But yeah, me just saying that, uh... The rebel thing made me think of that. Let me put this down. You have Starstruck as well. I think... Nah, that person definitely wasn't caught in it. Why is literally everyone here? Yeah. <laughs> that. Some general body awareness there. I think I, I was just like, oh yeah, I've body blocked him well enough there. Okay, interesting. Up you go. Put one here. Yeah, agitation to increase the, uh, the terror radius. Why are you here? Going upstairs. Fair enough. Eight. Ten. <laughs> I was just waiting out the endurance. <laughs> I know two rounds upstairs, but I'm just gonna take you further out. So I can go check on other gens here. I don't know why he would rescue you so quickly there. That was silly. And, oh no, there is work being done on that. I didn't see the pistons moving because it's the back ones. Hello, Fong. How you doing? You have a map? Give me that parchment. Hand it over. Yeah! Oh, she was in my terror radius because of Starstruck. Oh, I didn't know that I had that my terror radius even reached out that far. I, I have a terrible sense for what constitutes those 44 meters in this game, clearly. Someone else here too. I saw the scratch marks back there. Kick this. Put this down here. Oh, the the tools have actually been she was within like three feet, I'd say that's 44 meters. No, but the thing is like, Starstruck activates when I pick up the survivor and it's it combines with agitation to give me that like total 44 meters. But um, anyway, the, the uh, Starstruck goes 44 meters out from where I initially picked up the ace inside of main building here. So I didn't expect that to be that far out. Are you upstairs? I think you're upstairs. Um, Alright, I'll entertain you. Oh, you drop down. Unlucky. We do have agitation plus starstruck again. <laughs> Sir. Sir, get your get your gear out my face. What the heck is that? I saw that one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can probably put one in the grass here, maybe? You know, a little snake in the grass kind of thing? They're working on this gen because that's the one that Fong knows about. Right. Oh, please, I was gonna... I was hoping they would drop the pallet there. Fortunately, they did not. Drops the pallet. No dead hard. I have determined. Zero dead hard. I have agitation. I'm going to take you to a scooter hook because I have that ability. Well, damn. They got two gens done. Get that person off the hook. But we'll be able to stop this. Kapow. Oh, I've already put you on a scooter hook. Whoops. There was someone that I hooked earlier. Maybe I haven't. Uh huh. Claudie. Hello there. Oh, I hit her. Okay, that. <laughs> I am once again bewildered, confuddled, and a little bit shocked, honestly. Oh, yeah, I gotta do this. Yeah, yeet. Down she goes. Starstruck again. Okay. 
Back onto this scourge hook. Yeet. Nobody. Wait, there wait, maybe there wasn't any progress on gens. Because I I still have two ticks of um uh pain res left. Two tokens left. How how in the heck? Yeah, there's someone back here, so I'm gonna set that down. Eh, I'm getting too far away from the rest of my objectives here. Like that one. That's that's one of them. <clears throat> Uh, that goes out the window there. That's there. Place one behind this pallet. Then sprint over here. Hello. Fong. Whoa. Machete upon ye. Oh, it's the ace. Ace is around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. We saw it because of the uh, blood stains that were on the floor there. AKA Persona on Life's Active Play by Virtual <laughs> Anime Girlfriend. All right, well, have a good time with your virtual anime girlfriend. And enjoy. Is that Persona 3, I'm guessing? Well, whatever it is, I hope you have a good time. Take care. I have to go grab some traps now. Heck yeah. Woo. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Wee. Damn. I completed that one? Well. Can't say I'm not surprised. I should pick this one up, actually. They have no reason to be in this part of the map now. So. I should start. Falls, I'm very glad. Yay! They're failing a healing skill check up there on that person. They'll, they'll, they'll get it done by the time I'm up here, though. Hello, Tubbs. How you doing? Delayed jump down here. Whoops, I, I, uh, that was a misplay by me. Because what I had meant to do was, oh, wait, was do that killer tech where you, uh, oh, I can, I can smell you. Ah, I thought there was a pallet here. That's why I pre swung that. See that trap? Unlucky. You ain't getting the tube, bro. Sorry. You don't even know where these hooks are because you don't have saboteur. And also, tube is exposed now. <laughs> That's funny. Wherever he is, where he go? Where are you? Where is he? Okay, so that is 44 meters. That's good to know. <laughs> Into the middle of the map you go. They might be getting the... Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Goodbye. Norma Jean. Welcome back, Fel. How was, how was Rock and Stone? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm listening for sounds here. I thought I heard somebody breathing here for a second. Oh, it goes the killing. It's been going pretty good. Surprisingly well. I've had a few games where I've been like, ah, oh, this map is ass, or ah, oh, geez, we're playing against some real god tier gamers. And we've managed to pull off some pretty good games overall. I'm addicted and need company. You know what? Fair enough. That is that is one of the games that is significantly better with company too. Especially if you have people that know what they're doing with that game. Oh, it's it's such a such a wonderful game to play with, with friends tonight. Huh. Sorry, I thought I saw somebody climb into that locker. But that's just the years of Rainbow Six Siege convincing me that pixels are real. 
One of my all-time favorites? Yeah. Dude, it's it's so good. I mean, I haven't played a whole ton of it myself, but... Uh... Whoa. All right. Very interesting. <laughs> he was looking behind himself so hard that he didn't even notice the trap right below his feet. Hello, Tubero. I will be picking you up now. I'm nearly at 100%. Damn, how long did that take you? What are what are the hours you got on that? So long, you, bro. Why would you why would you disconnect? What? Why why would you disconnect there? Seems weird, right? Like you're gonna die in 30 seconds or less. Why would you Why would you disconnect? Makes zero sense to me. Uh Shaq. Um, I forget where Shaq is on this map. <laughs> oh, it's over here. Okay. I hear that crow. I don't know if that's me. It didn't spawn here. Ooh. The Super Duper Grind was to just promotion achievements left. Ah, uh, I see, I see. You know what? We're kicking that closed. All right, we gotta go. Oh, both of our gates are quite a ways away. Oh, those grindy achievements are always the worst ones to get in games too. I have uh, Terraria at 99% completion right now. And that's because the last achievement that I have to get is the Supreme Helper Fisher Minion. Which is the one that um, you have to complete two hundred quests for the uh, the angler. Two hundred. Typically, mind if it's a game I love. Yeah, it's fair. That's reasonable. Some of them are just insane. Yeah. That 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 they are. They are quite nuts. What do we bring and what do we play? Self care, botany knowledge, backroom player alert. The poor Ace had fixated and lightweight, so they wanted to hide their stuff more, but I just found them every time. And even though I was blinded in that one corner there, because I had picked someone up, I just knew that everyone in that room was exposed. I just had to not hit the two browns, so if I corner the Ace, I M1 and knock him down. That worked out. But yeah, I agree, some of them are just insane. I think, like, with Terraria, I've played so much over my life that I'm like, eh, I don't really want to stick around and do the survival crafting thing anymore. I just want to get 100%. And I have to spend, like, <laughs> nine hours in-game exclusively fishing to get the last achievement. I calculated it out. Unless I start a journey world and then find the angler immediately and start working it from there, but it's still, like... It's a lot of prep work and setup. Like the setup that it would take me to get there might take me nine hours anyway. So. Takes a year of daily challenges. Oh my goodness. Dang. That's impressive. That's super impressive. Whew. So like you, you've done daily achievements for a year and the game's like, yeah, there you go. There's your achievement. You're like daily missions or something, right? That's, I'm impressed. And some dedication to that, to that, uh, to that craft for sure, for sure. Oh, real for real. We almost got pressed. We almost got prestige one on the trapper. Let's see what challenges we have left. Damage twelve generators. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm hmm. I gotta write that. I gotta write that uh, game down too. On trapper. Gens remaining were. Two hook stages were eleven for three. Map was coal tower. No zero. Oh no, actually we had one. Tubero. DC. Uh Audet got the eight. Let's see, how are my Well, that technically does constitute my seventh win in a row on Trapper doing well so far. You have a VOD YouTube channel? I don't 
tech i technically don't i do have a youtube channel that i want to make into a vod youtube channel um but i haven't been uploading <laughs> there consistently because i've been streaming more regularly than i can keep up with vods but it you do you do raise a good point that i should be uploading there more often um so the vod youtube channel is or what well, it it will be i should say should be sojourner light at sojourner light there should be this but like i've used this as um unedited uh commentary stuff just like things that are off the top of my head but i've turned that more into my second the second channel the shiny sylveon one subscribed and waiting hell yeah thank you very much no of course thank you for expressing interest Sometimes those those are things that like with someone who has a community as small as mine, you it's hard to know what feedback or like how it's hard to understand like what feedback or uh how to gauge feedback on, on specific things and specific features and stuff. So yeah, tell me things that you'd like to see out of the channel and stuff and I'll I'll see what I can do about it. Cause it's hard to tell. Sometimes I have, I'm, I'm doing a lot of guesswork. The vibes and voice tonight. Oh, thank you. It was very kind. I I try to I try to keep myself like pretty. I, I try to keep myself just like pretty pretty chill overall, and been blessed with a great voice. So I'm glad I'm glad that you've been sticking around and enjoying what you have here. Well, I think... Oh, man, do I want to end stream? Not really. I kind of want to keep streaming. I'm still having a great time. But I should... I should go off and do other things. What, what would I do if I stopped streaming, though? Like, raid Ross or Winnie? No notes. I'm just drinking in the content. Hell, yeah. We'll 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 take we'll we'll see how it goes from here. How it works out. I do a little wild you aren't paying oh that's very kind. No, the thing that like if we're if we're actually to be critical of what I do on this channel and everything, um is that I am freaking terrible. I will avoid cursing, but I'm freaking terrible at uh promoting myself. Like I don't I don't post my links to discords regularly. I don't post my link to Twitter. I don't post my link to, I don't know, Blue Sky is another social media platform that I'm on. And I know that I have people there that see my links and, and join the streams and everything. Um, but I think that the other part of it is that I don't bring anything unique to a table of content creators that are already doing what I do, but better, right? Like, I am doing Dead by Daylight gameplay, right? But the thing about Dead by Daylight gameplay is that everyone kind of expects people to have all of the perks. You know, you have the biggest content creators in the space that already have everything and they're just able to play the game at a very high level and actually have something to learn from, right? Whereas me, it's like, I have good vibes. It's like, okay, cool. But the person who's way better than you at the game has good vibes and is consistent at streaming, which I'm trying to get better at. But um, yeah, I think that there is there needs to be a little bit more effort on my end, <clears throat> to be honest with you. And I think I could be a bigger channel because of it, but I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm getting in too late into the game and I'm not doing enough to make myself a larger content creator. So just things to improve on, but I'm, I'm glad that you think that the quality of my content is high enough to be like, you should be able to actually have a larger audience. So that that, that does mean a lot to me. So thank you. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> uh, just silly little rants about YouTube and YouTube content stuff. Oh, also I just realized like one of my panels on Twitch is incorrect. Let's fix that real quick. I have what is this called like a but yeah excellent production quality yeah well, thank you thank you thank you 
appreciate it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Audio is absolutely an issue for smaller channels, whether that's in the side of uh, editing or live streaming. You either have people, the visual quality is great as well. Thank you. Thank you. I try to keep it as clean as I can here in terms of like visuals and all of that. Yeah, the, that was something as well when I was first starting out with editing and advising friends of mine who got into editing and stuff was that the key component of every video is making sure that your audio is good. Clean Twitch overlay, which is preference, but still, yeah, yeah, exactly. Some people might have these super, you know, fancy overlays with all the animated bits and everything on it, but I don't know. I've never seen like a need for that, you know? Just seems to clutter it. It's, it's such a big deal. Like when you go and watch people who are first editing, their games of friends highlights and everything what is the first thing that makes you turn off a video usually and i'm and i'm talking more in like a rhetorical sense and i am the only one who knows the answer so maybe it's a bit bad to phrase the question this way but when it comes to um you know editing games or friends highlights right just as an example the biggest thing that makes me turn off videos is they don't mix the audio of the meme sound effects that they add in and so you have, you know, like the talking volumes at minus six, minus eight. Mine usually floats a little bit lower than that because I have a quiet mic. Um, and then you like throw in just max volume or at least like not even remotely mixed um, meme sound effects. And that just gets painful, you know, that's not, that's never something you want to encounter. And that's like what makes you click off of it. Like even, even videos that are just clips that are cut together are good. Those can be really funny because of the charisma that you bring to it and your personality. But if your audio is bad, and it's not going anywhere, you know? So, yeah, I've, I've, I've learned many a thing from audio. For my, for my vocals on, on stream as well, I have a, uh, a compressor, which levels out all the audio to be at least kind of equivalent across the way. I have a limiter, which makes it so that my voice doesn't peak over a certain decibel level. And then I have a noise gate, so you don't hear me like slamming on my keyboard all that often. <clears throat> I know you sometimes hear it, like it sometimes come through, but yeah. Yes, it does. It really, really does. Equalizes on audio and everything. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a little choked up. I'm crying, talking about the tools of the trade and everything. But yeah, if there's anybody that, um, who might be watching who is like how do i make my stream better and everything it's always like your audio is always going to be the first thing that you have to figure out because the camera the camera that i have here was a uh, christmas gift and so it, it looks high definition and everything but the camera that i had used for years before this was like the cheapest logitech camera and it didn't matter that i had that i was still like casting tournaments and all that sort of stuff on it and it was fine because the camera's not important. As long as you have, as long as you have a streamable bit rate, it's another thing, and good audio. And th th there you go. <laughs> it's like the, the, the secret to having a decent stream. <laughs> it's about it. And having personality that consistently provides commentary, right? Like, unless it's, um, unless it's someone who's, you know, known to be really good at the game, let's say Shroud, right, to FPS titles, is an incredible FPS player. Um, and in some of those streams, you know, like Shroud doesn't say a whole lot, doesn't like consistently commentate, but that's because people are there because he's really damned good at those games. But if people don't know who you are and you don't have the skills to back it up, you, in my case, have to make up for it in personality and commentary and making sure that the stream feels alive, even if there's nobody there. And you'll just get better at that. It feels a little insane to be talking to a text box, like not to diminish anyone who's behind their twitch username or anything but this isn't like the same as me having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a person directly because i could see like their body language and everything i am seeing like what people are putting in text and that's difficult because you can't it's hard to understand without the visual component of how to play off of somebody else because it's so foreign to someone first starting out you're text on the screen yeah you are but i mean i know that you are more than that like 
you're more than just that, obviously, because you have a person behind the username and everything. But um, if we're really to get down to brass tacks and talk about what I am interacting with, it is a text on a screen. Make it feel like a conversation. Yeah, that's what that's what I that's what I do my best at. Thank you. Balls keck anyway. We have pronouns. I go by he or they. Either way works. I do refer to myself as they them more often, but um, I don't really mind either which way. So thank you for asking. I appreciate it. It was a very pretty recent thing for me, and that's also like you know changing up the wardrobe to be a little bit less, <laughs> a little bit less like I look like a. I call them bro nouns. <laughs> it's a good one. I like that. What are your bro nouns? Flexes. Bruh. I gotta work out more, Pecunia. I know that uh, that's something that you're very much into, but I do not do it very often, as or as often as I should, because I get intimidated. Like I'll be honest with you, Pecunia. Half the reason why I don't go to the fitness center on my college campus is because I don't know what the fuck to wear in there. <laughs> Like, do I put on do I put on gym shorts and a t-shirt? Do I can I just go on my slacks and do like light stuff there? I have no idea. I have honestly zero idea. I don't want to be like the person who shows up with a sweatband and you know bright orange tracksuit kind of thing. We'll work out together? Hell yeah. You know, uh Athura changed my Username on or my user nickname on Discord to Themosaurus Rex. <laughs> it's just great. Love it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. Because it was off of like you're a Hemosaurus Rex, but the Themosaur instead. A lot, a lot of fun. I don't know, I feel, I, I think like after I, you know, discovered I was non-binary and everything, I felt a lot more comfortable with myself overall. Just, I think a lot of the, the confidence that I have, or the lack of confidence that I had before was that I just never felt right in my, in my own skin and everything. Oh, there, she's so supportive. Yeah, she is. She's wonderful. Very, very wonderful. I think that, I honestly think that if a Ithurit swapped out the word chaotic for wholesome in her titles, she would, it would be so much more fitting, in my opinion. But that is just my opinion. Because I think, like, the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I discarded it. Reality is whatever the fuck I want it to be. <laughs> I want to give her a hug. Yeah, I do too. She she's a wonderful person. Um, yeah, I think like if she if she put wholesome in her titles, that would maybe even do better because sometimes people are like don't want the chaotic gremlin energy, and so chaotic might give off that idea. So I have no idea. I do I, I do think she's genuinely more wholesome than chaotic, but. That's my opinion, and I should tell her that in DMs, too. Be like, hey, you should try putting Wholesome in your titles instead. You are like a teddy bear when I go to bed? Yeah. <laughs> Just a big, big warm teddy bear. <laughs> very, very wholesome. Yeah, um, there, in, in, Thera actually was present for this conversation that I had with a friend. She's so little. Yeah, she is. She is quite small. <laughs> She's throwable size. I've I've said that before to her. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, I was having a conversation with a friend where I was like, I don't really like sitting on. I don't like dressing male coded. I guess I would rather see if I could wear something that blurs the lines in between them. Had n no like it hadn't even crossed my mind at the time. And then they asked me, like, huh, do you think you're non-binary? I was like, I don't know. I don't think I am. Five months later, like, hey, by the way, <laughs> remember that conversation we had? So, yeah. That's how they get you. That's, you know, that is indeed. 
gender isn't real damn liberals. They pull you in. They, they, they wave a bunch of rainbow colored flags in front of your face and they grab you by the ankles and re, re, reach, you know, take you within their reach. Retrieve you. That's the word I was trying to say. They retrieve you and just those liberals, you know what they're going to do? They're going to get out their transgender surgeons and turn you into a girl. <laughs> Sorry. There was, there was just like uh, this article by The Onion that was titled Parents in Fear as Surgeons to as uh, guerrilla surgeons, like G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A, guerrilla, as guerrilla surgeons tra traverse the country searching for children to turn into transgender people. <laughs> it's just such a good bit of satire, because obviously that's not what's happening. We made it up to sell half the population uncomfortable shoes and pants without pockets. Fucking right. I, I think I said one time in a video it was all like gender isn't real. They used it to sell more bathrooms, <laughs> which might be, which might be reducing the complexity of it all. But yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> We've trained your kids. If you don't, <laughs> you get like a phone call that's like a <laughs> like a hostage call. And it's like if you don't want little Johnny to be little Jenny by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a terrible thing to to joke about but i i do find like the outrage against people who are just trying to live their fucking lives to be a little a little silly yeah but uncomfortable uncomfortable shoes and pants without pockets man that is like one of the things that i'm so frustrated about because i have i have two younger sisters and it, they're always like, yeah, I have to like carry this bag around because um, I can't like fit my phone in my pocket. Cause you know, phones are, phones are pretty damn big. Like this is, my hands are pretty good size, right? And like almost the full length of my hand. And you know, this is like sticking halfway out of their pocket if they put it in the front pant pocket, if they could even fit it in there. It's just, they made up, they made up pant pockets so they could sell more purses <laughs> and even then I carry a satchel thing around with myself so who's to say well have I waffled on long enough chat have I waffled on long enough and should I should I send y'all to someone else for the evening because I don't really have anyone else that's playing Dedge by Daylight <laughs> no. <laughs> no, be greedy. Stream more. You're doing you're doing just chatting until midnight local time. Which is specific time for me, so I don't know what that'd be for y'all, but yeah. So many gender specific things are so silly to me. Yeah, like why why is it that men's fashion is so fucking boring? Ugh. <laughs> oh, I like that that has always been one thing that has really irritated me yeah you should wear a suit jacket like a, a and and a, and a shirt and a tie and it's like i love rectangles right angles are my favorite <laughs> and if you heaven forbid that you wear anything that uh you know has a bit of frill or color or interesting design to it like i might be self-reporting here, but like walking by the women's section, uh, women's clothing section in grocery stores, I, I feel I feel envy. I feel envious of what they have because you look over there and it's like these really vibrant colors and everything in there. And then you go to the men's section, it's like, we have red as the brightest color. The other ones are gray, black, and blue. <laughs> Oh man, bait self report, bait self report. Yeah, and they say geometry isn't important. Rage is so real for that. Yeah, I I am like over over exaggerating a little bit, but I don't know. I'm like damn, I wish I could wear. I don't know something more of neon or what have you without having to worry about. If it fits me too. Like I'm a big person too. 
<laughs> his white t-shirts i'm part of the problem no no, no. like if, if you're if you're comfortable being in white t-shirts and having that kind of style to yourself more power to you i'm just saying from my for myself from my own perspectives and everything i would much rather not be restrained to that kind of fashion side you know i'd rather i'd rather have more diversity in my wardrobe um when i was cleaning out my wardrobe today and like dropping off all those extra clothes at at goodwill i'm like getting rid of old jeans and um getting rid of all of my like really boring dress shirts because i have a couple that are really nice and flowery looking that i I'm like yeah these are bright and fun i'll, I'll keep these overly baggy sweaters and sweatpants yeah i mean hey that that works as well the overly baggy sweaters and sweatpants are so freaking comfortable too to wear you you throw those things on and you are just setting yourself up to be comfortable at all times it's it's a whole it's a whole vibe <laughs> my socks <laughs> do you do you collect like interesting colored socks or something like that or tally come from mine hey that's that's a good that's a good state of mind to have if you are comfortable in your in the clothes that you wear then more power to you i do Ooh. I'm I'm interested I'm interested in what kind of colored socks because I I know that I had th I don't know I don't think I have them anymore they might be in storage somewhere um, but I had these socks that were black but then they had uh, green pine trees printed on them and then in between the pine trees they had like Sasquatch on them too and they came up to like halfway on my shins all of my whimsies <laughs> funneled into my feet covers. <laughs> <laughs> all of my whimsy my whimsy you wouldn't know by looking at me right because you're usually wearing closed out shoes i'm sure and the baggy sweatpants like cover your ankles and all <laughs> but the the whimsy is self-contained but it makes it makes you happy and that's all that matters man I'm having a great time, chat. Thanks for thanks for sticking around for conversation and stuff. This has been wonderful. Also, I'm like slipping out of camera frame because my posture is horrendous. I have that tendency to like kick my butt forward onto the edge of my seat and then sit back against the back of my chair using my shoulder blades. And so I'm just like, wee, I'm way down here now. Yeah, thank you for the fun stream. Thanks for making it fun. I've been having a blast. Um, I and I do apologize as well if I come off as like a little too um a little too complainy in some of the games. It's just that that is my immediate head reaction. It's like I'm not, I'm not doing well. <laughs> um but like, genuinely I'm not I'm not terribly upset about it. Like, I'll be upset in the moment, but that's just like the knee jerk reaction. So I I do apologize if I make anyone uncomfortable for that. I now say amen unironically. Oh, I I say like hell yeah, brother, all the time. Yeah, we all we all have our little funny idiosyncrasies <laughs> across the board. Of course, my non bronary bro, let's fucking go. Oh man, who do I even send y'all over to, huh? Do I just say like we uh? Okay, we 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 just end stream. We just leave. Like it makes me comfortable. <laughs> Be good, my leech. <laughs> yes, I I despise you. Your your ability to make me cringe is what makes me grow stronger. <laughs> all right, uh, I gotta write down. I gotta write down one thing before I go. I'm saying it out loud so that all of you uh, know that I'm gonna be doing this. But download. Twitch VODs so that I can upload them to the Sojourner Light channel and get that up there. They're so eager to get rid of us, just send us away already. We never talk anymore. <laughs> Fine, maybe I will. <laughs>